We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, but today doesn't feel that way. We are divided in more ways than one, and the media and the powers that be all have their own agenda. The people of this great nation no longer care about the truth, they only care about the side they are on. At Poor360, I am trying to change that. For bringing you the facts and history so we can all learn something and make our own decisions. Tune in every Tuesday to be a part of that journey. The following, the following. is a journey into comics. Journey into comics. A journey into comics. A journey into comics. Journey into comics. Journey into comics. Network. 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 Production. Production. And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Journey Into Comics, the podcast dedicated to all things nerd, with your host, the podfather himself, Nate Phillips. Showtime, a-holes. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Journey Into Comics. I think this is 242. I lost count. 241? It, it literally says the episode title on every episode, and I, I've lost count. Sure, fair, fair point. <laughs> Welcome to LafiCon Year 5, folks. We are Journey into Comics Podcast. I've got an amazing cast of characters joining me today from all over the network. We're going to go right down the list. First and foremost, welcome back to the show from Podcastrophy, Dick Blaine Tyner. How are you doing? I am great. I'm, I'm surprised I'm not an emotional wreck, but I'm, 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 a, I'm at an emotional high right now. Did I say I'm Nate, by the way? Did I do that? I forget. You did. You're I Nate. did? Okay, I can't remember. It's you're my Nate. brain. Did brain damage. If not, yes, the intro is. took care of it, so you're good. Okay, good, great. <laughs> Th- yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Also, welcome. This is probably the first time you've officially done JIC, Lender. I think it is. Welcome to the show from Dungeons with Dudes, Dave Linder. How's it going? Going great. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. Hell yeah, you've got some stuff to talk about today because you went to a specific movie that was not... Avengers Endgame, so Correct. we'll be Correct. talking about that as well. Also, welcome back to the show, the co-host with the co-most, Tyler McLaughlin. How you doing? I'm doing good. Dude, I'm happy Excited to Excited to be back. here. Excited to have a, a full weekend full of podcasting and guac box. Yeah, I'm going to be full with guac box. <laughs> and street sharks. And street sharks. You guys are on that street shark shit they, today. They really are. They really, they're <laughs> once it, in, once it opens up, you just can't stop. Yeah, you can't get rid of it. Also joining us, welcome back to the show. We love him from Foodies Watching Movies, Adulting Ain't Easy, and Poor 360. You catch him every Tuesday on the Journey into Comics Network. How's it going, AP? Doing great. I'm glad to be here. And I have this whole couch to myself. I can just lay down and talk. Just you can almost do the uh, Gwen pool like, uh, or um, Harley, Harley pool, pool like uh, Dick did the first year. Was he just sprawled out on the couch? Yeah. I did yeah, that, too, I think, I at was. some point. Or the rose from Titanic, depending on which or direction you want to go like with like one it. of your French girls? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's one of the Snapchats I sent out. <laughs> Do you know this is my first time in Lafayette? Le- Le- really? Me, ever? Yeah. ever? I've never been in Lafayette before, I don't think. Welcome. Welcome. This is about it. So th- this is Lafayette. All right. <laughs> this is what we got. <laughs> well, uh... How many of us saw Endgame yesterday? I just want to get this one out of the way. Yes. I did. Right out of the gate. Thursday. Thursday, okay, Thursday so, 6 p.m. So Nate and AP saw it Thursday. The three I, of us saw it yesterday. I literally saw it the first chance. Like, hey, that's a great picture from... Yeah, hey, you said that. That's crazy. I literally said, pay there me was like a 5 p.m. I just couldn't make it. I wanted, but it was sold out. I know. think that... Um, that was like a fan special one. What do you guys think about this, uh, like... Thanks. Marathoning all twenty-two movies. Do you think you could have done that? Like know. consecutively at the theater. At, at the, the theater, theater. it was like a three-day essentially event. I think if you had the ability to take the time off of work or didn't have any commitments, right? That's my and problem. and you just went into it knowing that okay, periodically I'm going to take a nap and periodically I'm going to get up and use the restroom. And I might leave for a little bit, you know, just to get oxygen out of the movie theater. Yeah, just to yeah. not was smell it, like everybody. Were there breaks between them, or was it just like one into the next into the I'm next? pretty sure there was like a 15 intermission every four movies or something. So they like broke it up like that. But then, but then like they let people bring in backpacks. You could go in and out of the theater. You could mm-hmm. bring chargers, blankets, pillows, like the whole nines. I feel like I would just be just mentally and emotionally drained by the time Endgame came. Yeah. I, I, I mean, God, to re-experience all that in a row and then to live to the end of that whole experience was... It would all be fresh, though, which is nice. Yeah. I mean, I tried to marathon them all. I got all the way up and until Civil War, which I think I did pretty good. That's not bad. Yeah, but, that's, uh, that's, that's a good 13 run. movies in two days wasn't bad, you know, but I just had it on no matter what I was doing. Working on the podcast, movie was on. Doing something for the band, movie was on. Cleaning the house, 
There was a movie on, sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe I slept through Thor The Dark World. Don't judge me. I'm it's pretty okay. sure... In it's ref- the best Thor movie besides Ragnarok, so... I'm pretty sure in Reflection, I've only seen Winter Soldier and Thor Ragnarok maybe twice. Really? Yeah. Ragnarok's one Not of Not Ragnarok, favorites. sorry, Dark World. I meant oh, Dark. Dark World. What was the other one you mentioned? Winter, Winter Soldier? Soldier? See, and Winter Soldier's amazing. It's like one of my yeah, favorite movies, really but I think really I've good. only like really watched it. I've only seen it once. I think every time I started over, it's only been like the first. It's always, I've seen like the beginning ones a bunch, but it's always like, I'm going to start watching them all again, and I'll just get like halfway through and be like, nah, it's... Uh, okay. I mean... So let's go down the list. I just I need to know. Again, we're not going to spoil anything with Endgame. We're not going to talk about plot. We're not going to talk about who's in the movie, who's not in the movie. Right. We will say there's no end credits. That's official. That's confirmed. Well, no question. But I think there you, is, but there isn't. Yes, definitely stay until until the screen goes black. Correct. Yes, I agree. lights come on. It's still good to do. I, I think left. that <laughs> I think you just oh, well, that's of course you giving your thirty percent. Um, I think I needed the time for the credits to roll to literally process what we had witnessed. Like it was just like I left that theater stunned. Same. Yeah. I, Same. I will say that score was phenomenal and worth saying because I think that score hit all of the emotional beats you needed in that movie. Oh yeah, absolutely. So let's go down the list. I want to know your guys' one word opinion on the movie. What was the first reaction you came up with, Dick? You can't say it here, can you? F. <laughs> <laughs> I like your censorship. I appreciate you, <laughs> Mister uh, Mister Linder. Hmm. Mine just be. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Tyler. Mixed. Mixed. You sent that to me. That was uh, that was surprising. AP. I think wow. 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 Yeah, I was pretty shocked. I mean, literally, again, without spoiling anything, the movie hits on all the notes you needed it to as a fan. Mm-hmm. If you're really hardcore into the whole MCU and you know the history, they did not not give you everything you wanted. You know, and sure, I mean, there's a couple tiny gripes. Maybe some characters didn't get enough screen time, or right. there are some weird unanswered questions after the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, Some plot holes that could have been filled, but I think it'll get answered later. Absolutely, and it could take time. I think that the future of the MCU is bright, but also very scary. Unknown, yeah. Well said. I think I think what we have to, to kind of accept and, and realize, though, is we've just got to make it to July, and then as soon as Far From Home comes out, we're going to know what the next phase roadmap is. So, well, Question, real quick, to, to, to piggyback on that, Tyler. Do you think that the Far From Home end credit, because you've got to believe they're going to go back to that. I mean, I understand with Endgame, you put a bow on it. You don't need loose ends because right. you don't want people to feel like they had to see that loose end to continue on because now is a fresh Far From Home is a start point. Go Actually, from there. Isn't Far From technically still the end of Phase 3? It, it is the last movie of Phase 3. I think it's going to more serve like a prologue than an actual final chapter. Yeah, or an epilogue. 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 That's what yeah, I meant. Prologue yeah, is I knew the what I meant. I fucked that works. that up. I'll go yeah. with that. Saved it there, too, didn't mm-hmm. I? Uh, so, okay. So, we're going to do another one-word no, game. I do. Hold on. Sure, sure, sure. I want to say I really want to watch both Infinity War and Endgame back to back, back to, I feel like that would have a different feeling at the end of that movie because like I watched Endgame I think last week or something but I feel like if you went straight from the end like straight you from one in, to the Infin- next you watched Infinity War last week yeah I got you and then and so yeah I saw Infinity War Wednesday night before I went to bed I put it on just because I was like this is it you know this is we're here tomorrow when I wake up I have very little time to wait and I'm going to the theater and it's time you know and um I, I, I want to use another one-word game for us, so we're going to do a different one that doesn't spoil too much. You cannot spoil this, so be mindful. One-word answer to who was the character MVP, in your opinion, of this movie? AP. Like what? It, it doesn't necessarily need to be a hero. It could be a side character. Who, who did you think lent their self well? Captain. Sure. Which, Marvel or America? <laughs> America. Okay. Tyler. <laughs> Scott Lang. Words. Scott Lang. Okay, oh. absolutely. Mm-hmm. Did you agree with Scott Lang? Yeah, was that's that your what pick? I was going to say. Okay, yeah. And you too yeah, as well? Yeah, Scott Lang. He really is kind of the MVP because he emotionally keeps it together for the team in certain situations. And I think that his also comedic levity adds to them not being so in how screwed they are because really they are do you think he plays kind of an audience surrogate through a good chunk of the beginning of the movie like a filling people in who weren't aware of the world that had happened right like he's 
he's us because going into the. I, so <laughs> like naive viewers who had never seen the MCU, maybe getting drugged to this movie for the first time, letting it be a standalone film that speaks for itself. It it does give some. It, he fill you're able to fill in some background information to Scott Lang since he's been separate for the most part since he wasn't in Infinity War. Okay, so we're going to play another fun one. You guys all answered with Scott Lang, except for you who said Captain America. Mm-hmm. I, um, I don't know how you couldn't say Banner. I mean, in a lot of ways, Banner had one of the, honestly, the hardest journeys in this movie as far as character development mixed with what he had to go through in his actual mission in the film, keeping mm-hmm. it spoiler-free, and then... Um, the power that it took to move to the next step of his mission, you know, and mm-hmm. what that took out of him physically and what we're going to see on the other side of that. So, um, Nate. Yes. Would you say, I know they talked about this originally, this isn't a spoiler, that since they couldn't give Bruce Banner, Hulk, their own solo movies, that they were able to give him a complete arc through these other movies. Do you think they completed that with Endgame? Yes, they completed a segment of his arc, but I think there's so much Hulk left to tell. And I think they've proven with the way things shook out, they want to take their characters, dice them effers up, and throw them at the thing and say, who can go where and change this all up? People love these characters interacting in different mix and match scenarios. So, And we get that at the end, again, not spoiling it, but there's a, there's a, a new coming together in the future we'll probably be seeing. Yeah, I wonder if we'll... Oh, sorry, Tom. Go ahead. I wonder if we'll end up with less solo movies in the future and... More team-ups? Team-ups or group movies. I feel like that might be a good trajectory. Well, and I think that's what I was going to say specifically about Hulk as we're talking about him. <clears throat> Thor Ragnarok was so successful, and the standalone Hulk movies were not successful at all. I mean, as a fan of the character, in good conscience, I can't say that they were successful. It's the lowest uh, Rotten Tomato movie, but it's still certified fresh, if you can believe it. Right. So I think with with where you have Mark Ruffalo at in his place as a part of the cast, I think that he does so well feeding off of other people and and sharing the stage that unless you are going to do just... I mean, because I don't don't think a a Hulk trilogy is reasonable. Right, Right now, I don't think it's reasonable. You know what? Actually, though, if we're talking about the status quo of the MCU now... A Hulk movie that fills in a time gap that I'm not going to mention. A Hulk movie that then after that deals with after Endgame and what he does. And then let's say him going back off the rails World War Hulk style at the end would be the only thing I could see as them doing. But you would have to pump it full of cameo appearances from other MCU characters so it stays light enough Mm -hmm. and attached to everything you're doing. She-Hulk. She-Hulk. That would be interesting. That would definitely be interesting. Okay, so we're going to ask another question, different question. This one's more fun. One word? No. Okay. And we're going to start with Mr. Dick here. So what theory that did not come to light in the movie were you most surprised by? Isn't that spoilers, though? No, because it... It's kind of spoilery. Is it, do you think? Because anything I'm going to say is going to be spoilers. Because you're taking away a theory. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Okay, so maybe we shouldn't ask that question. Maybe we should get down to the game. Do you guys want to get into this? We can get into the game. So, I like games. Gatorade style. What we have here is the Marvel Movie mm-hmm. Marathon Quiz. To make this fair, because you guys are all going to be raising your hands, and I'm, an, I'm not good like that, we're going to have you each have a buzz in word. I'm going to let you make up what word you're going to yell. So if it's chicken, if it's duck, if it's mashed potatoes, I don't care. You each have a word you're going to... No, Tyler gets heritage. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, you can't... You can't argue with that. Dave's Presto. is a uh, street shark. Presto? Mine's Presto. Street shark. Okay, so you got Presto. Street sharks. Okay, street sharks. Heritage. Heritage. Assemble. Assemble. Oh, Woo! I like that. Okay, so if you think you know the answer, you yell out your thing first, and you'll be first at the shot. We're going to have two shots at it. You get a point if one person walks away. Some of these are multiple choice. Some of these have true or false. It's, it's all over the place. We're going to go down this kind of quickly. Are we, we going to be all yelling over each other with our words? Yes. We're going to see. We're going to see how this shakes <laughs> out, guys. Yelling. All right, first question. Are you guys ready? Yes. Heritage. Hands on the imaginary buzzers that are your voice holes. <laughs> so, cup the mic. Ow. <laughs> Nick Fury is usually known for showing up dramatically at the last second when he arrives in an old shield helicarrier to help with the evacuation of Sokovia. 
Where did he say that he got the supposedly destroyed aircraft? Because if you'll remember, at the end of Captain America, all the helicarriers that we knew about were destroyed. Heritage. The, the junkyard okay. where Deadpool fights Ajax. Well, that's a great theory, but he actually says a line. I'm going to give you multiple choice. I'm going to still let you have first crack at the answer. Was it out of storage, out of mothballs, out of hiding, or out of the basement? Basement. I think the answer is out of storage. He says, I pulled this one out of storage. Yeah, I think you're right. Where were you at on that? Coulson day? actually had it if you uh, watch the series. Oh, Coulson holds on to it? <laughs> Coulson, yeah, at the end of that, Street Coulson Sharks. Was... Nice, nice, nice. Okay, next question. Changing your mass in a split second is exhausting. What snack does Scott Lang usually ask for when he's physically drained after time spent as Giant Man? You want me to go ahead and multiple choices? Ooh. Is it Kool-Aid, apple slices, grapes, or orange slices? Assemble? Orange slices? It is orange slices for a point. Ooh. Okay. AP's so right on now, the board. Be you're on the board. Me too. Be better. <laughs> you just got to try. You got to get in there. There's, you too know. Too much pressure. I'm nervous. Here we go. Vision was originally created for evil, but as a hero, he is given life by and is the sole protector of what source of power? Presto the Mind Stone. Correct. Dick is on the board. Uh oh. Salt. Sad. I just okay. let him have that one. Strategic Homeland Intervention Enforcement and Logistics Division is a pretty lengthy name, but it original its original name was much shorter. What was Shield that predated Shield? What was the name of Shield that predated Shield? Was it the Strategic Defense Initiative Reserve, the Strategic Training Reserve, Scientific Training Initiative, or the Strategic Scientific Reserve? Assemble. Okay. C. Which was? The Strategic Science Initiative. I think that was C. Incorrect. Anybody else want to take a last crack? We know one's gone. Forgot all the words already. Sure, sure, sure. Yep. <laughs> I'll go again. I'm doing terrible at this. The strategic, defense, the, the strategic Defense Initiative. The Strategic Training Reserve. The Strategic... Or the, the Scientific Training Initiative and the Strategic Scientific Reserve. I said I didn't say one of them. I said a completely wrong one. I think what was did. C? C is the scientific training initiative. And it wasn't that one. No. Oh, street okay. sharks. Yes. D, the last one. It was D, the scientific the strategic <laughs> reserve. <laughs> also pleasure. known, it would probably have been easier if I would have just said SSR. Uh, the yes. SSR yeah, where yeah. Peggy Carter yeah. and everybody else worked. Mm -hmm. All right, up next. Being frozen in ice for decades means you miss out on a lot, but Steve Rogers still understands some pop culture references. Which of these movie references was Captain America able to understand? Alice in Wonderland, Snow White, Wizard of Oz. See or Wizard Don? of Oz. Assemble. With the <laughs> he wind. didn't. He didn't. <laughs> he buzz didn't buzz first. in though, but I'll give it to him because he caught himself. Okay, so you have two. And you have one, and that's it. You guys are still not on the board yet. But we're getting in some different questions. These are no longer multiple choice. On the board. You, oh, yeah, you got SSR. My Thanks, fault. I'm man. the only one with all, that's not on the board. Tyler, let's Do change better. that right now. Remember, you. remember, in every question we want to mention, that these are all questions that were written before Endgame. So there are no Endgame spoilers in this quiz whatsoever. Keep that in mind okay. as we go to question number one. Black Widow gave a cure to Tony to keep him from dying of radiation poisoning. True or false? False. Uh, presto, false. Okay, okay, you're correct. You are correct. You remember, you got to remember your buzzing. Okay. Yeah. Up next, only <laughs> Thor and Vision have been able to wield Thor's hammer, Mjolnir. Heritage. True. True. Correct. So, one, one, two, two. Okay, we're getting into it, folks. Secretary Ross was originally known as General Thunderbolt Ross. Heritage. Her true. Future. Oh, yeah, you got in two in a row. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Eitri is the name of the giant who is coerced into making the Infinity Gauntlet. Assemble. True. It is true. In the lead, AP now with three points. Right? Three? Three? The Maximovs both receive their powers from experimentation with the Soul Stone. Presto. Heritage. False. He gotcha, he gotcha. Okay. All right, that's the last true or false. Let's Bad fill in the this. blank. Let's fill in the blank. Before being kidnapped, Tony said he was riding in the blank rather than with Rhodes. What? 
Before being kidnapped, Tony said he was riding in the blank rather than riding with Rhodes. I'm out of this one. I hate that movie. Uh, Assemble? Okay. The Cool Kids? No. Incorrect. Uh. <laughs> Anybody else want a shot? Heritage. Car. Incorrect. Since no one got it, the answer was Fun V. Oh. <laughs> I like it. I'm going to go up Dang here and it. ride in the Fun V. Yeah. Ah, just just don't post it. on MySpace, okay? Let's see. Aha. Uh-huh, I like that. That's great. Uh, Black Widow was raised and trained in a place known only as the blank. Black Widow was raised and trained in a place only known as the blank. Heritage? Ballet? No, I like your candor. The ballet is not correct. Just throwing stuff at the wall and see if it sticks. Sure. Dave, do it. I, street sharks. Sure. Communism. <laughs> <laughs> Incorrect. Yeah, oh, my God. The answer with street sharks. <laughs> the answer is the Academy. Uh, uh, the Academy. Mm. The answer is Hogwarts. Here's an easier one. Be ready with your mouths because one of you is going to get this. After the Battle of New York, the team all decides to hit up a blank place to relax. Assemble. You all three simultaneously did that. <laughs> that was crazy. Okay. Did you get that in too, Preston? I think, I think Linda had I it. heard Assemble Street Start Heritage all at the same time. So. Symbol <laughs> Street Start Heritage. It was like <laughs> episode title. <laughs> 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 Write that down. Send that to me right now. Oh, that's great. Okay. So. Huh. Because I think it was Dave, yeah, to me, be fair. and then AP. I do agree. Okay. I was if last. you guys heard better, then I, I appreciate I think it your was honesty Dave. and candor. Dave. That's probably the loudest because that's it's me. Sure. Yeah. What's well, the answer, Dave? Street. After the Battle of New York, the team all decides to hit up a blank place to relax. Uh, shawarma. Correct. Durando. I'm on the board. You've been on the board, you street shark. I feel like AP's going to get this one because he's watched this movie more than most of us, I'm guessing. I have. Blank is the panther goddess, the deity of the Black Panther. (laughs) What is... How do you pronounce it? I've only seen it one time. Uh, Really? You've only seen it one time? Yep. Not worth it. I liked it, but I've only seen it once. Is it... uh, Assemble? Sure. Is it... I can't know if it's pronounced right. It's, I always pronounce it. Is it Bosch? He's so close. I think I have is to it, give him a point. Is it Bosch? Va- it's it's something like Bost. 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 With okay. a T? Yeah, B A S T. Four? Four. Two? No, I've got three. Three? Four, three, two. Three. Two. Four, three, two, three. As we move Last into place. the. Um, uh, okay. So this is going to be a word bank. This is going to be a little bit difficult to pull off on the stage because you technically need to be looking at it. So I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to say one, and you're going to name the character most likely to be associated with this specific thing. Dimensional energy. Presto. Uh, Doctor Strange. Incorrect. You're on the right path, though. Heritage. The... um. Grand Supreme Wizard Master. Assemble. The Ancient One? It is the Ancient One. Damn it. Uh, Okay. It was in my brain until I said... Scientific Experimentation. Assemble. Yes. Captain America. Presto. He got it. Captain America. Assemble. I was going to go with Rocket. Okay. Oh, another great one. Say Harambe. (laughs) Rocket, Rocket. not Harambe. (laughs) Ancient Herbal Potion. Heritage. Black Panther. Bingo with Dingo. We've only got a couple of these left. Powerful energy source. Presto, Iron Man, Stark. Heritage, Captain Marvel. Bingo. <laughs> Lastly, this one's going to be difficult. Natural ability. It's so vague, I know. Assemble? Sure. Hawkeye. I was going to say that one. Presto. Natural ability. Natural ability. Presto. Sure. Nat Black Widow. Incorrect. Oh, <laughs> you know no one likes you, right? Street sharks. <laughs> Groot. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm on the <laughs> Got it. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, natural ability. That's you know great. no one likes you, right? I, I'm well aware. I love I you. Do. I'm well aware. <laughs> we are Groot. Okay, I'm gonna name we off 
five different characters, all associated with a superhero from the MCU. I'll name a character. You immediately buzz in. Whoever calls it first gets it. Okay, we're going to go with Ned Leeds. With, what do we have to describe in? The character they're associated with? They're associated with. Assemble? Spider-Man. Correct. Mm. Darcy Lewis. Assemble? Okay. Doctor Strange. Ah. Ah. That's my best ant buzz. Anybody? Anybody? Could use some work. <laughs> ah. Better? <laughs> Sounded like Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's... Darcy okay. Lewis. Who is, who is Darcy Lewis associated with? Darcy Lewis would mm. be associated... Presto. Thor. Yes. Oh, oh yes. Darcy. Yeah. Meow, meow. Uh, meow, meow. The lady that says meow, meow. Eric Selve. These next two are going to be a little bit easier. Janet Van Dyne. Heritage. Presto. Ant-Man. He got you first. Yeah, he did. Slightly. Thanks, Tyler. Ant-Man. It is Ant-Man. I didn't hear him because he whispers. Sam Wilson. Heritage. Captain America. Got it. Dr. Christine Palmer. Dr. Christine Palmer. Assemble? Sure. Incredible Hulk. Heritage. Sure. Vision. Uh, Now I know who it is. (laughs) Now you know it's too late. You can't buzz back in. These guys are like racking their head skulls. Who is Christine Palmer? Dave. No, like, no, 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 no <laughs> cheating. <I was> like, <laughs> it's you, Dave. Dave's the Five, answer. Five. Four. Uh, even doing the three. Hands. Presto. Banner. Uh, no, wait, you already said Somebody it. already said hold. Yeah, well. Yeah. The answer would be yeah. Doctor Strange. Because it was the, the night Strange. nurse, right? <laughs> was, that, was she the other night nurse? Yeah, the night nurse. Yeah, Rachel oh, McAdams, oh, right? Okay. Huh? Yeah. Rachel McAdams, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. I remember that after the fact. I was thinking it was the uh, the doctor. Okay. So who thinks this one is going to be for the game? So if you buzz in, you get it correct, you stay going. If you get it incorrect, you lose. It's over for so you. So you're okay? asking everyone? Correct. We're going to oh. see who buzzes in first to start. These are, these are the two final questions. Okay. Name the six Infinity Stones and their respective housings and guardians. Oh. So the stone itself, what it is housed in, and who is holding it up and until Infinity War. So this before Infinity War slash Endgame. You have Anybody? to get all six. Housed All in? six. Housing. What's it in? Oh, got it. Where they're at. At what period in time? Right before Infinity War. Right before Infinity War. So where the MCU is... Before they're all together. Paper. Heritage. <laughs> Heritage, okay. Okay, so the Power Stone's in Morag. Okay. okay. It's in the little... You it's in already the orb. are incorrect. Oh, you're in the UK or, orb, two, yeah, two. It's, sure. It's in Who's an orb the on Morag. the of the Power Orb, though? Oh, I'm sorry. Where it's at right before Infinity War. It's on uh, planet Xandar, defended by the Nova Corps. Okay, next. Uh, the Mind Stone is in Vision's head. Okay. Um, Pretty set in stone. Where was that initially, though? Where was the Mind Stone initially? Correct. In the uh, Loki Scepter. Bingo. Um, Two. The Reality Stone, the Collector has it. Okay. Uh, what was that in? Nowhere. No, no, in. What was the Reality Stone the in? The housing. Oh, I don't remember that. Uh, I mean, the Aether. The Aether from For okay. the Dark World. Uh, <laughs> okay, so Tyler doesn't get it. Who can pick thousand. up from there and keep it going? The sp- Remember, there's still one more question. You're not out, out. The Space Stone okay. is in the Tesseract. Okay. Which before Endgame was in Loki's possession. Correct. So okay. that's... Three. Four? Three. Four. Mind stone, reality stone. Uh, you just did space. That would be number four. So that four. was number four? Correct. So th- you have two left, and I know the two. Go ahead. Okay, so the next one would be... I'm trying, I'm trying to think what the other ones are. <laughs> I'm out. You're out? I'm spacing he, he gives out up. Now. Presto. Sure. Time stone. Sure. It's with Doctor uh, Strange inside the Eye of Agatosh, something... 
Oh, it's so I, close. I, I, it's, You're out. You, didn't, really you didn't answer it right. Yeah, you got to get it right. It's the eye. It's the medallion. It's the, I says it's the eye. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I remember the medallion. That's what... Okay. Are you out? Do you have should've, it? I should have went with the soul stone. You have it? No? <laughs> yes? No? Needing. Tyler, do you want to oh, finish so this up? Yeah, I can finish it. the point? The time stone's in the eye of Agamotto. Bingo. And then the um, soul stone's on Vormir, protected by the red skull. Bingo. We'll give you one of the game-winning points. You're up for the final here. The next question is a little bit easier. Name the people that fought in the Civil War movie and their respected sides. So name the teams who was in Civil War. Heritage. <laughs> oh, he's going for the slit your throat win. Go for oh, it. Yeah. Iron Man on Team Iron Man. Sure. Black Panther on that team. Yes. I'm just going to do one team before I do the That's other That's fine. One. Perfectly acceptable. So Iron Man, Black Panther, Vision, Rhodey, Spider-Man, um... How many people are on the team? Or does he get to know that? I think it's six each, but I might actually be incorrect there. I'm trying to think if there's... You might be right with five. And then you can count Black Widow because she switches to both teams. That's, that's true. I'll, so I'll that's the that. sixth. Yep. And then Team Cap. Sure. Captain America. Yep. Bucky. Yep. Ant-Man. Yep. Um, Hawkeye. Yep. Um, Wanda. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And then oh. uh, you said it again. Because and then Widow switches, widow switches sides. sides. So Clint? Tyler Who's just you, you just swept the board there at the end, and you win the Marvel Movie Marathon quiz. There was actually one thing we couldn't do on the show because I don't think I can get you guys to do order of events. No, that's uh, can't do that it's on pretty this. difficult. It's but we all win because we're all friends oh, sharing the stage. Yeah. <laughs> the power oh, of friendship. We're in the end game now. And I crushed it. Oh, <laughs> totally. So. So street sharks. <laughs> street sharks. Is that we're where you guys street. want to go next? Is street sharks? We can we're talk in about the street, street sharks. sharks now. We're in the street sharks now. We're in street sharks now. Sure. So I watched that show as a kid. I had all the toys. I didn't have any of the toys, but I watched uh, the show. Doctor Piranha was pretty awesome because when you hit his switch on the back, his face would turn from normal to crazy mm-hmm. and a little that. thing. Yeah. And then, um, God, I can't remember all the actual street sharks, but I had like the one with the roller <laughs> We looked blades. it up like thirty <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> you did look it up. You know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bring them. Ripper. Ripster. 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 Shamu. Slamu. 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 You're messing it up. <laughs> you do it then. <laughs> S- street. One was just like street. You're messing it up. I'm messing it up too. Because uh, there was the one with the blades. Was he blades? Uh, He was the Mako shark that, or the tiger shark that rollerbladed. Yeah. Go, go, power there street There was the, the one that that's, punched that's, all the time. Crazy punchy guy. Yep. There's the hammerhead. I like that. Just read him, Dave. It up. Way to uh, be the R and D department. We have Ripster, Streets, Jab, Jeez. Street Shark Slamu. Tacos. Awesome. I just got tacos delivered to the stage. Oh. Now, if I could just get a drink delivered to the stage, my life would be set. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, okay, do that again. Sorry, tacos. It it happens. It's that was life. not a street shark. Tacos no. was not a street shark. No. Uh, Ripster. Ripster. Uh, streaks, streaks, sl- streaks. Jab, jab was Slam-o. the punch. Slamu, yes. So I'm jab. Slam-o. Which one was, was jab? brown? Right, he yeah. had, he was the okay, and then the hammerhead. Uh, hammerhead was jab, jab was dark blue, right? Yes, yes. And then what? What streaks? Is that what you said? Streaks. streaks. He was the blades guy yeah. with the stripes. Yeah, he was the tiger shark. And then what was the other one you named? Ripster. Ripster. He was the leader. That's he was right. The great white or yeah. the mako, whichever. Will one they you ever want bring pick. that back? What? Street Sharks. Great white. It's a great white. Thank you, audience. Thank you, audience. Where's the live action Street Sharks movie? Yeah, we need that. Where's that? Starring Captain America. No, I'll, <laughs> I'll do this later. Okay. Where a fair part of that is they hated pizza but loved cheeseburgers because they were not the Ninja Turtles. Okay, yeah. so was, don't bring up that, that word on t- my. Listen, don't bring up that word on my podcast, cheeseburgers. I can't ever hear it again. Why um, don't you like cheeseburgers? What? I can't say. I got it. I actually genuinely I can't. Is this tell covered you. in your oh, voice of survival? No. No. Well, we're going to cover it on exactly podcast. Mean, no, you can't. You can't know about it. Okay. You, Nate, or you do. It's okay. I love you a certain number. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you got it now. So, um, now I'm sad again. Now you get it. Do you think that the Street Sharks didn't like pizza because it was a clever way to differentiate them from being like the Ninja Turtles? Straight up. Because yeah. I Straight mean, up the they're similar. Four brother or four. Dude, team that's like a mutated creature. Didn't the gargoyles show come out the same time as that too? Yes. Oh yeah. man, what gargoyles. Like, was there just a bunch of anamorphized characters that all existed at the same time? 
pretty much. On like kids, yeah. kids television. That yeah, also like makes me think of Small Soldiers for WB. some reason. WB, yeah, I the Gorgonites. Gorgonites. Man, I brought up Small soldier, Soldiers yesterday at work. Hey, oh, it was on. Yeah, I think it's on <laughs> Amazon Prime. I think I watched it like oh, a couple months back. Here's why I brought that up because somehow we got on the subject of porgs. From Star Wars: The Last Jedi, okay. I watched that this and morning. So we started playing a game where we placed Porg? one word in a movie title or a television title with the word "porg." Porg. Porgs of Anarchy. Porgs of Anarchy. <laughs> Return of the Porg. Small porgs. Small porgs. Or porg. Por- por- porg. Saving porgs. Private Porg. Porg. And Porg. <laughs> wow, we are so far off the rails right now. It's okay. Street, street Porgs. Street Porgs. Street Porgs. Hey, Dave. Like this guy. Did you see a movie in theaters recently that's comic book related that's not in game? Nice. Side I totally. have. <laughs> Well, I did. What did you see? I watched uh, Hellboy Wednesday. So this is the David Harbour reboot, not Rom Perlman, Guillermo del Toro. Correct. What did you think? I, I really liked it. Like I know a lot of people didn't because it's not Ron Perlman, and but I'm a big Hellboy comic fan. Like I, I read quite a bit of them, and it fit the comic very well. I mean, I still had some issues. Like they did a lot of CGI to it, and CGI they was got sloppy. CGI fested. Yeah. So I noticed from the trailers, and give me further insight, no Abe Sapien. No Abe. At all. Even in an after credit or something? Is that, um, is that he is referenced? towards the end. Okay, okay. There, like early like, reference. Little, little, like, so Easter maybe they're dish. setting up for a sequel is more what I'm asking. Yeah. <clears throat> they yeah. did include Different Lobster actor? Johnson, though. Yes, yeah, so I bring up Lobster Johnson. Pretty awesome. He's amazing. Yeah, BPRD is awesome. So, uh, Lobster Johnson? Is it uh, Hellboy if you're familiar with Lobster Johnson at all? Was Hellboy a Vertigo book? Uh, Dark, Dark Horse. Horse. Dark yeah. Horse. Also, I want to shout out the dude that's dressed like one of the Joker's goons from 89 Batman with the boombox. It's amazing. He's it makes, fantastic. I know. I, I don't know if you realize Acknowledging you at all, which is, is hilarious. Yeah, which makes it even better. It does, <laughs> totally. Dome, dome, dome. You know. Did you see uh, someone who was dressed in Endgame attire? Yeah. Oh, really? I saw uh, Bucky. Bucky and... Uh, I'm guessing Black Widow. Oh, right there. There we go. Right there. Hey. Right there. Oh, I see with the uh, with the suits, with the yeah. advanced tech suits. Love it. Can't talk about it. <laughs> it can't talk, can't about, talk it. about it. We can't really want to talk about it, but we can't. What we're going to do, though, I will say for this episode, people are going to be like, hopefully this isn't a super short JIC. We're going to actually add on to this later where we do spoiler-filled conversations the six hour discussion (laughs) it might be it might be the longest conversation ever had in a podcast because there's so much to go over i mean just to touch on endgame again so much fan service it was overwhelming like you could not have caught everything and not always in a positive way true one thing we could talk about is what we did to prepare (laughs) for seeing the movie if we haven't really touched on it what was that again what we what we did in preparation for seeing endgame Okay, okay, okay. Like it was reading or watching anything. You, you first start. I uh, actually found a couple uh, YouTube videos where like they did uh, like character breakdowns of where these characters are up to Endgame, which I thought was really helpful. Oh, Just cool. refreshing yourself on like scenes from the characters and what they went through, like from Iron Man to Captain Marvel. That was really nice. Okay, Tyler, I hyperventilated a lot and. Um Tried to maintain my emotional state, yeah. However fractured that was. Sure, sure. Uh, did you do anything else? Did you watch any of the movies MCU wise? I up? did watch Infinity War um, Wednesday when I got home from class. I didn't really pay, even pay attention to it. I just kind of ignored the first half of the movie and then watched them both fight Thanos. Like I said, I can I literally put Infinity War on and start doing dishes and just recite the movie without watching it. Yeah, I've seen it so many times. I mean. I also watched Ant Man. That's the only other one I watched. OG Ant Man or And the Wasp? Ant Man, the original. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. I mean, Darren Cross is an amazing villain in that movie. Oh, uh, yeah. Yellow Jacket's awesome. The Thomas the Tank Engine thing. We have an announcement oh, no. we're going to make free balloon animals until 2 p.m. Nate, no, don't do it right now. Oh, don't oh. do it right now? Don't do it right now? Did she say. Oh sure, we could. I don't. We could do it now. Uh, that's casual. That's fine. <laughs> can I get free balloon animals? Yes. Yeah. No, you Do don't get, get free, free balloon balls? animals. AP. Can I be a balloon no. animal? Can my balloon animal be a street shark? <laughs> yes. She wants. She wants. Sham. Which one? Oh, man. Slam move. Okay. Dave, how did you prepare? How did I prepare? Yeah. Um I just kind of chilled. Did you watch anything no, at all? I, I didn't actually. You, I, uh, you have already probably seen them all, though. So you were like, I see, I, I've, "There's two of them I've not seen." Okay, I've not seen Ant Man and Wasp. 
Uh, well, okay, I can say that that story you didn't necessarily need going into Endgame because it takes place between Civil well, War and Infinity War. Right. So I wanted to see it. I just never got a chance to. It's, and then I've not seen... Is this on Netflix? Yeah, it's on Netflix. Is Ant-Man and the Wasp is on Netflix. Yep. Uh, Homecoming's not, but I can get you Homecoming. Don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll link you up with it. Oh, uh, nice. And you can thank the Boombox guys closer now. Hey, I love now your cosplay. I said it before, but I want to say it again. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, so... Dick, what about you? What did you do to prepare for Endgame? Well, to start off, uh, I took a brief nap because I was very tired. Sure, yeah, you uh, had like a very, very little had, sleep going on. Very into little it. sleep. Uh, and then I ate four slices of pizza. Score. Uh, I drank very minimal fluids. That was a mistake. Actually, that was probably smart. Because, <laughs> I mean, I did, I did get a soda. At the theater. At the theater. Got a, a big soda. Got a soda uh, got there. Pop. Medium, which soda is actually pop. pretty large for at the theater. What did you fill it with? Uh, wild cherry Pepsi. Oh, I love it. Did, wild cherry oh, yeah. Pepsi is life. Uh, I got myself uh, a medium. I, we did the we did the real movie deal too. Okay. The medium the, couple the, special. The medium couple special. Okay. And, it's bad uh, that I know that. Uh, we did that too much. I, I just sipped. <laughs> I just sipped on the two it. Two drinks. So. <laughs> So I'm, I'm, I'm curious to know, and I want to go back through this. So you're actually telling me what I was going to get to the heart of, of, what your experience at the theater was leading up to. Was there a line there? No. You had no line? You just went right no, in and I got your tickets right in. and seats? Uh, we, bought, we purchased our tickets prior. Okay. Sure. Reserve uh, seats? Huh? Did you have reserve seats in yours? Yes. Okay. Yes. The weirdest thing happened, though. We got Our aisle was like aisle I, and as we were heading in there, they said, oh, did they tell you about aisle I? And we're like, no. They're like, well, you can't sit there. You got you're in M now, which was literally the very back, which was fine. It, we our seats were still kind of where they would have been in aisle I. Okay, but, but just further back. Yeah, it's just where. There's like I doesn't back. exist anymore. Did, did somebody take a back. poo in I or no something like I, I, clean up an aisle? We don't I. know because all the seats were filled, aka the seats that we had. That's do they pre-book another row? For they some probably reason? screwed up, or you yeah, know, it was the, the weirdest thing. Well, like, I also heard—I don't know if you guys know this—but there were movies that were getting like corporate people buying out the entire theater for their, oh, wow. their for parties. And when that happened, some people had already bought certain tickets, so they had to refund and then offer them different times at different shows. So there that would have been something so like upset. that. Yeah, we were sitting there, and we were like Miranda, my wife, who just walked in. Welcome Timing. to LoffyCon. Uh, she she was like I'm I I am just waiting for somebody to come up here and say we're in their seat. Oh, that would have been BS. Didn't happen. Oh, that's Didn't good. Didn't happen. Avoided so you, that conflict. Your movie going experience seems pretty easy. Oh yeah. Did you not have pretty, reserve not seating, mention, Nate? No. Oh, see so the so way we just to bought get tickets seat. and because it's a, it's an AMC twelve, it's a smaller one, so they don't have pre-reserved. We got there at. 4:15 or 4:30, I think it was, which was an hour and a half to two hours before. Was there the people movie. lined up ahead of you? Oh yeah. There were like 50 people in front of us. Did you have a good spot, though? We did end up getting a pretty good spot, and it was really fun. There was a guy that I'm going to call him Captain Crabass because some (laughs) older dude came with his son, and they were like trying to find seats. He walks up to the guy behind me, and he just sits down, and the guy's like, hey, man, those guys have coats. My friends are sitting there. He's like, I don't see them. And I was like, are you kidding me, dude? Like, don't be like that at this movie. Just be nice. Like, can we just not have a bad time? This guy threw a fit, and I watched him go to all different seats, and every person he was awful to, and he ended up finding, like, a really crappy spot pushed off towards the bottom of the screen. That's what he deserves. Totally. Sucks to suck. Should have done better. It does. I just, uh, it was really fun, though, to stand there for a couple hours and to chit-chat with a few people. And uh, the AMC bucket for popcorn, they had, like, a tin bucket. I sent you guys a picture. Oh, I saw that. It was a a good deal. It's embossed. So it's got like it's it's got like a it, it comes out you know it's, it's don't really you have cool. one for other <clears throat> movies too? Not like that. I have a regular like popcorn box for Guardians two or something. Oh okay. But that's about it. You know. Welcome to the stage, Miranda. So, welcome to the stage. Uh, but yeah, my when I came in, it was fine. I actually I was able to pre buy my seat, so it was there waiting for me when I could go in. The only negative I had was after I was sitting comfortable in the. Uh, like the trailers before the movie started to play, the people sitting immediately to my left, a group of them came in, a bunch of like high school age kids that just reeked of weed. I was like, oh, this is how it's going to be. So it's the worst s- things. It, but I just had to smell it for the whole At movie. At least it wasn't B.O. 
Could be That's worse. Could I much like rather ass. smell popcorn, though. I'd Popcorn's much... good. You should have just went and got more buttered popcorn. Oh, I, I voted all concessions, so I didn't want to have to get up during the movie. Did you consider drink breaks, or bathroom breaks, rather? I avoided all concessions and went to the bathroom right before the movie started. I wasn't getting up. Uh, we had drinks and concessions, and I literally, right before they started rolling previews, went down and peed. And I was like, okay, now I'm set. I'm not going to have to deal did with you have any. to get up? Did anyone have to get up during the movie at all? Not My once. wife did. Nope. One person in our theater. One person in our theater did. One, you didn't realize it was three hours? I didn't realize. Do you not listen to my podcast? No, no, I knew, no that's what I'm saying. I watched the movie and didn't realize three oh, hours had Oh, it didn't feel like three it hours. It was a very it, well-paced it, movie. It was yeah, super it was. well-paced. Except maybe the first hour, but after the first hour, I yeah, think it paced yeah. a lot better. And I think that first hour is dedicated to, here's catching up what's happened. It's, it's story building. Correct, absolutely. I so, bought my tickets ahead of time, sure. walked into the theater... You sent there me a was popcorn bucket picture. no one at the counter, so I printed off my own tickets, reached over the counter, grabbed them. <laughs> no one took my ticket ever. Wow. Were people just not there? No, Maybe there, there was a bunch to, of people there. And they just, they just weren't, they, it was just unreal. They were doing was something crazy? else, and I was like, well, I'm so not going to stand here and wait. How was the turnout for your guys' showing? Was it packed? Was it kind sold of out? Mine was sold, yeah, sold out. Mine wasn't packed. It was weird. It was like kind of half full, or maybe like seventy percent full. So you still had the audience experience of people laughing and stuff, and and the and cheering, all yeah. the things yeah, that still were still had that. But it was it, it was not as packed as I thought. It was I will say be. this: our theater stayed totally silent yes. for the first two and a half hours, and there's a moment in the third act that exploded the crowd. It was crazy because I didn't know if we were going to all just stay quiet because we were immersed in it, you know? And then when it happened, we all were just like, ah, I like lost it. I, was I think all the, the jokes, all the jokes landed really well in mine. Yeah. I got a lot of laughing in my showings during the moments where you could laugh. Totally. No, the last half hour, people just laughing hysterically. You know? Yeah. Yeah, you know. There was one point, in my sh- one point in my showing where the entire theater stood up and clapped in unison. I did get applause. We got was applause. Was it Stan's cameo? There's no applause. What? Was it Stan's cameo? 420 Lord. Mm-hmm. He looked like he did in that picture from like the time period because he filmed that before he filmed in, uh, Captain Marvel because they filmed all of yeah. Endgame before Captain Marvel. Correct. So you're still in better health then. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, all in all, man, the experience for Endgame, the crowd. I think that makes movies for me now. Is like the being with other people who I know are feeling that same kind of thing, like. Just to hear, I don't know if you guys were hearing it, but there were <laughs> sniffles and yep. people oh, yeah. grabbing yeah, their eyes. And it was just like, Openly man, this weeping is Openly weeping someone su- next to me for the last half hour. You were telling me like some teenager was just like bawling. He was just, I could just hear him actively crying. Like it wasn't like the big wheezing, but just the actively just. <laughs> it's crazy because here's the thing. There are moments in the movie me. that aren't even technically <laughs> that, was that me, sad. Yeah. Like, that was actually me, AP. Yeah. What? That was actually me. That was you in my screen. <laughs> Like, seriously, there are moments in Endgame that you wouldn't think are necessarily that sad, but if you're invested, there are one-liners in there that just choke you up, and you're just like, oh, my, I can't even take it, you know? (laughs) But uh, this movie was, you know, they said the movie's going to be unexpected. You're not going to be knowing where it takes you, and right out of the gate, they did that. They said, you thought you knew the status quo of this movie? Nope. Enjoy. Good luck. So I, I want to change it up a little bit. Do it. Because going into Endgame, you and I had talked a lot on an episode about, of JIC <clears throat> about how the Russo brothers need to do Secret Wars because that's what they want to do. And then the last three days, I have read article after article and seen headlines that... They're done, right? That they are not going to do anything else. Maybe that's them saying that as a way I mean, to is give that, people some You think some that's some breath. misdirection? Yeah, I think they have to give people room to breathe. And also, <clears throat> honestly, you want my opinion? This is the point where the Russos have to step off because you had Joss. He was the starting point. Now the Russos have carried you to a point. Who's next? Maybe they'll write their wrong and say, James Gunn, you've already did all these other things right. Do it. I think they need fresh blood, to be honest. Oh, maybe they do. Or maybe Taika Waititi is the guy, you know, yes. who's going to just... I agree. Who says know? it can't be Favreau, though? To come back and, and to take in a more leadership role that's not just one movie or doing a small trilogy, that'd be great. There's a lot of different people Once that would... with The Mandalorian. I mean, oh, man, that's a whole... Well, and Taika Waititi is also directing The Mandalorian. Just one episode. Yeah. But he's also a voice and, in The Mandalorian because yeah. he's, he's IG-88. So I can't wait to hear nice. how he voices that. 
Just Korg. Just. What's up, guys? <laughs> Sorry, killed Mike. <laughs> oh, hope oh, he's still alive. Oh, hey, man. I accidentally Korg. crushed him. Korg is just <laughs> great. Korg's Korg great. Yeah, so do we have closing thoughts on this episode before we want to get out of here? Is there anything else you guys want to bring up in the last uh, eight minutes of the podcast before we die out of here? I, I mean, I'll go first. Sure. Um, I like that. In, in usual fashion, I'm going to maintain the, the crown of unpopular opinion Sure. that Endgame is not the greatest movie of all time. Sorry. Marvel movie or movie in general? Movie of all time. It's, oh, not. it's not. It's there's no way in hell. It's it can't. Be. But there's <laughs> a lot of people that think it is, and it's not. It's not even the best Marvel movie of all time. I disagree I strongly with that, but I agree I that it's not of all time I agree. because I think you don't have another movie in the MCU that tied everything together like that I will, and did it that successfully. I will say if you if you package Infinity War and Endgame as one movie, that is probably the best Marvel movie. But separately, they oh. do not stand. That's ah. that. AP so, said it for me. So, so do you think they're gonna offer that as an option at some point? Watching it like un um, unedited, unedited, essentially. Yeah, essentially. Why wouldn't you? I would see a screening if they did both of those joined. Yeah, easily. Yep. I would want them to do it where they cut the the credits though, and made all the credits roll at the very very end. So you would like literally go from the snap right into the next phase of it all, and and what's all happening. Would it be spoilers to comment on the credits themselves of Endgame? Are you saying the people in the credits, or are you no, saying just the... the style of the credits. Oh, no, the style I think was cool, and I don't think that's spoilerific that they um, they really... I'll, I'll lead off in saying it like this so you can go from there with your thought, but they did a great way of paying tribute to the original six Avengers that really, without that first Avengers movie in 2012 working as well as it did, we mm. wouldn't be sitting here talking about I this. I just like mm. that instead of getting either just like a black screen with their name. It was very well stylized. It showed the evolution of their character, plus yes. their signature and just their name big and bold, and that held for a few seconds. Absolutely. It was amazing to witness that. Well, and, it was uh, unique because, it, I mean, I'm one of the few people that sits and actually pays attention to the credits while I'm watching it. And I'm a weirdo and try to find people who are named me in yeah, the credits. Like, yeah. oh, there's another Nate Phillips. Holy hell, that's crazy. But you don't normally see that kind of imagery in, you know, credit roll like that. True. Very true. Very true. And I think that, um, especially with the signature thing that they did, that was a f- super nice touch. Mm-hmm. Like, it was them signing off on their to this Involvement. point journey. Yeah. To this point journey. I just wanted I to stay in Lee one. That would have been nice. Oh, man. You know, I will say, though, honestly. I thought the Stan Lee cameo would choke me up, and it didn't. I was just like, yeah, like, let's well, keep going. Well, it was so short, too. Yes, it was, also it true. Was, I th- I, my opinion, I would say it's the, the shortest cameo that he's ever had. Yeah. It's well, probably Infinity War, about the same level of cameo, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You Both never heard driving. of a spaceship before? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so. What about you, Dave? In thoughts? Um, Hellboy's good. I, I liked Hellboy. It's okay. Hell- about uh, that. Lobster Johnson rules. I love you, Lobster Johnson. You um, just like saying Lobster Johnson. I do too. Fear my claw. Lobster did Johnson would be a good character on Street Sharks. He did the fear my claw and had the, held the claw. Uh, that's great. amazing. Um, other than that, I mean, I liked Endgame. I kind of agree with these guys over here. Um, wow. Well, you, you're leaving oh, him I'm hanging. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Left him hanging. I'm sorry. I suck. All right. I almost cried again. Also, I have one more. Sure. Shamu, Slamu is the best Street Shark. <laughs> okay. Streets was Lobster okay. Johnson is the best street shark. <laughs> Lobster Johnson is the best street shark. You're right, Dick. Sorry, what about you? Uh, closing thoughts for the D. So, I absolutely love when these two get together because their inner children just bust through and destroys <laughs> everything. Show. Combined, we have the age level <laughs> like of five year olds giggling next to each other for like the last two hours. Because <laughs> we're secretly <laughs> in love, just giggling and they like each other. <laughs> the stones are assembled. The stones. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. See, I think we did a pretty stellar job not spoiling the movie. We didn't bring up any plot points as much as we want to. There's so many thoughts. Just like I but want to. if people are wanting to listen to that side of it, there is going to be a second half to this show where we really blow the doors open. Not here live, not during LaFiCon, but we are going to be talking about the end game very shortly. And you guys will be hearing that right here on JIC. Say thank you guys so much. The crowd that's here listening right yes, now, we're going to we got a very large get crowd watching us. another uh, show up here very shortly. I'm pretty sure it's Brews with Dudes next. i got to double check the schedule. I believe so. Austin's giving us the thumbs up. Austin's giving us the thumbs up that that is correct. I have not met Austin. I just see a guy okay. with a bag. And well, <laughs> then, folks, I think we're going to take a quick short breather. We've got oh, a couple a cool announcements layer. here. I want to thank Dick. 
Dave, Tyler, and AP all for joining me on this week's episode yeah. of Journey Thank into you. Comics. Thank you. What do Thanks. we call it? Heritage Street Shark Assemble? Assemble Something Heritage like Street Sharks. Yeah, yeah. that's right. All Street right, guys. Sharks. That is well, the answer. Thank you. Thank you so much for checking out Journey into Comics. We've time traveled. It's been five years. Things are different. It's not really been five years. It's only been like, what, like 12 hours or some shit? I don't know. But A day. <laughs> Linder looks totally <laughs> terrified. <laughs> We're still here on Journey into Comics 241. Welcome back, folks. We are not live at LavyCon. We're currently doing a pre-show right now for a spoiler-filled conversation about Endgame. Right now, I'm going to introduce everyone who is assembling for this episode. Welcome back, co-host Tyler. How you doing? Doing good. Welcome back, co-host Mr. Dick. How's it going? Presto. Presto. I mean, uh, we're good. I yeah. thought you Presto. were going to stay. I, I was conditioned yesterday. <laughs> Presto. <laughs> Street Shark. Uh, AP, welcome back yet again. Hello. Mr. Linder, welcome back. Hello, hello. So that's, that's everybody that was on the first part of the show. Let's continue and add some more people that were unsnapped. Welcome back to the fold, Miss Veronica. Hello. I get resnapped. 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 I'm not sure. Double snap. How's it Full going? I'm glad to be back. I'm glad you're back. Hell yeah! And also, welcome to the show, Alex Buckles. How's it going? I'm a little upset that I sat here and I can't say on your left. Now that I know that I'm unsnapped. Because you're on your left. Be on your left. Because you're on your right. Yes. I do want to point something out. You said spoiler-filled discussion of Avengers Endgame, and a couple of the people. Uh, a couple of the vendors got up and went away from us. <laughs> I was going to say, did anybody think to sit, mention that this is what's happening <laughs> the in front of the other the people that, that are here? Yeah, he's, he's yep. over by the door. Well, I just assumed <laughs> that we would not be loud enough to like be really super spoilerific. And really, honestly... Well, let's keep it to a dull roar, then. Yeah. A dull roar. Yeah, that's a secret spoilers. conversation yeah, amongst just, yeah, friends. Just, or if you're going to scream spoilers, make sure they're the fakest spoilers. I don't... Where do you want to... Where do you... Guys, where should... Um, well, Go ahead. Like normal, I would like to kick the door down sure. and be be that guy. Yeah, um, no way. Start at the end. You know, I, I kind of prefaced yesterday when when I chimed in when we started this that this is not the greatest movie of all time, and there is a good portion of this movie that I legitimately wanted to get up and leave the theater. Ooh, really? I I thought the the first act, the first half of the movie was awful. Oh, awful. I think it was necessary to... It was world building? Yes. Yeah. Well said. Yeah. So let me go into a little bit more. Sure. Uh, frat boy Hulk? <laughs> awful. Fat Thor? Awful. No, but you gotta frat think... Boy okay. Hulk? Kinda. Yeah, no, I, didn't I didn't get it. that vibe from his got, attitude. I kinda got celebrity Hulk. Like, he was just feeling the love. Because remember how the, he was with those kids... He was just like, come here, get a picture. Was that scene specifically, I almost got up and left. It, it did, didn't feel like... He, he personally, though, really loves the Hulk. Like, that's one of his favorite characters I've... of all time, so I can understand why that would be frustrating. It was awful. I, I, I was not a fan of... The uh, personality profession. choice was... Yeah, it was weird. It was, too, it was too over the top. It was too cringy. It could have been done a lot more subtle, and I think it would have... But think about how much time has people. passed. They said it was like five years, and people change a lot in five years. That is you true, know? and I and think he's that mastered this like duality of his personality to become what he thinks is the best version of himself, or what the Hulk thinks he's the best version of himself. Ooh, that's a great question. <laughs> it is not a big fan. <laughs> this kind of a a younger personality wise, with like the sarcasm and like mm -hmm. that scene when they went back in time when he's like two in his. Guys to rampage a little bit. And he's like, ah, <laughs> I like uh. that. It's like, what is happening? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I kind of felt a little cheated in the fact that we didn't see any Hulk smash throughout Infinity War. Yeah, and they really did a good job of balancing. If you didn't see it in the first, you saw it in the second, and there was still nothing. You have, no, to, you have to smash like, Tony Stark in the face a little bit. A shoulder tackle when you're walking out of the stairs, and a bit about stairs. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's true. Like, I get that they needed the professor mentality for. Uh, use them to, uh, to do the snap. I get that they they have to have some sort of intelligent Hulk. They also but needed to strength the Hulk. The did we even it. did we even see him rage during the final battle? No, no, not really. No, I never saw him like throw anyone off of him. Or I, no, the only time we saw him in that final him. battle was when they run down the yeah. down the hill. Maybe they, they thought they did enough there were a in lot of, uh, the previous movies, like. I don't, in, I don't. like, Thor Ragnarok, maybe they thought they, they gave you enough Hulk smash so that way you wouldn't miss it because they had I, so much more I think to the cover. reason, I think, honestly, the reason that we didn't get to see Hulk smash was entirely just because there was too much screen time 
devoted to other characters, and that's totally fine. Yeah. Right. There was a lot you, going on. You have to lot. share the stage, mm-hmm. um, and, and obviously one movie, right? And obviously, your your big characters, uh, plot wise, have to take up the majority of the screen time. I just I could not accept that the ego that Professor Hulk had because. Mm-hmm. If you have the perfect union between Banner's or between Hulk's rage and Banner's intelligence and tact, uh, it's not going to be egotistical frat boy, right. and it, it's going to take me a long time to get over it. I Hulk, kind of wanted Hulk doing a dab was pretty pretty that superfluous. Was, that was rough. yeah, I agree. <laughs> I kind of thought he was doing a point at first, but it was. <laughs> It was I kind of, I kind of totally missed that it was a dab. I kind of yeah. oh, he actually says he dab. said it. Yeah, yeah he said uh, it. I kind of expected. This is really jumping into spoilers, but after he found out that Nat was gone, that something was going to crack in his facade, he was going to get yeah. a really rage off. Because all he did was just throw a bench into the right. water. I kind of expected something, a, 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 not a snapping, but a, a schism. A schism. Well, you got to think, or though. even, or even when he got separated on the rooftop, I kind of thought that the other, the yes, definitely that the body of Hulk would, because they did that in, uh, was it Planet Hulk when he was two separate entities? Yeah, mm-hmm. he gets yeah. Separated from I kind of expected that. I, was, I said Holt to wake up and just have no bannerness in him. I was kind of hoping when they when they did the the astral separation yeah. thing that okay now we're gonna have Banner talking to the Ancient One and you're gonna have two Hulks rampaging around. That would have been a perfect chance for it. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He was asleep. They put a hat on him. I was like, this yeah. is obnoxious. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, kind of like I really like that they had the Ancient One back. But I like yeah. that. Segment. One of really the cool. very one of many very cleverly and well designed cameos. Right. Uh, in this entire thing, and that's like when you talk about the spoilers of Endgame, you can't talk about anything because every person coming back is like a oh that was awesome like we're going back to 2012 oh. in this movie and I'm like will we see Doctor Stephen Strange? He doesn't even have the stone yet. They, they don't no. know that. Why aren't they thinking they like did that? Explain like, it away. And they they did a very good job. And then the thing that's really clever is Ancient One. Knows. That's why in Doctor Strange she says I can't see past my own end because she literally cannot tell. Right. Strange what's actually coming. Right, otherwise she would have. Correct. Because she can only see, because remember they, when they had that last moment, like, this is my, I can, I've can. lived my whole life only seeing past this, can't see past this moment. So this must be. But it. she knew about Strange. She knew that he was destined to be the best of us. That's what she said. In yeah. The... yeah, that was really cool. I'm, I'm really, really glad that she they showed her knowing what's to come. Yes, mm-hmm. absolutely. Um, when I loved, I loved in that scene when Banner tells the Ancient One that he gave the stone away that look of conflict i mean yeah. the the acting that she put forth just in that one fraction of, of that look, scene yeah. was incredible the why would she's he a great do that? Actress. why would he do that and you know i i need to as much as i disliked professor hulk in this film i think <clears throat> i think we need to give a lot of credit to mark ruffalo oh, yet again absolutely. because you know every time i talk about the mcu i i hype up how well they've been able to cast the right people for the right role Mm -hmm. and i think banner or ruffalo is still the most underappreciated person in the franchise and i hope that maybe not as much if i mean i hope that they don't focus on the hulk as much and they focus just on ruffalo in general more going forward in phase four Um, i would want to say somebody as far as unsung hero in the entire movie I actually thought Paul Rudd did a hell of a oh, job. Yeah, oh, too. Um, yeah, he, he did. He goes back to his house and, and encounters his daughter again. Well, him, at the, him, at, the, him at the memorial, oh, right? the big structure where he's just looking, looking for his name, and then he oh, saws yeah. his own. He's like, what? Spooky. There's like a 10-second moment where he where she opens the door, and he realizes you see every like, oh, the yeah. range of emotion on his face. That like, was so cool. cool. You're alive. Rudd, you're, wow. That yes, was so cool. Yesterday on the show, at the end, we all – chose our MVP, MVP yeah. of of this film and three out of four f- I was yeah it was three, I was out, of, three, three out of five three out of four of us or three out of five of us yeah. chose Ant-Man because the who Avengers was the, would the other two, well he, they would have been stuck in the future with it not for him because mm-hmm. even if because Tony Stark didn't even have the thought in his head they wouldn't have approached him right. and he wouldn't have actually, come up with it I think I said Banner was the MVP Banner? yeah I just for ar- the only other one I would have argued would have been Barton just but because the, he was the human aspect of almost oh, the time and thing. I thought he did a hell of a job. I'm glad you bring up Barton. Let's talk real quick about going back to Infinity War and Vormir before Thanos and Gamora show up. How Because the they're in 2014. They go to Vormir, and you've got Natasha and Clint both have the same mindset. I need to atone for my sins. The battle of who's actually going to do it. And you think, oh, 
when Natasha makes the initial decision, that's the decision. They're not going to change it. Right. And then Clint does something to, you know, like... Well, because he, he... She electrocutes him. Uh-huh. He blows her, her out of... Her yeah. path out of the way. And then he jumps. She... She does a Batman, basically. She does the Batman yeah, yeah. move. And then they're both hanging. And then, she, yeah. He but he does have them. the family, which she told him. Well, and Blaine and I had this discussion off air yesterday... Um, you know, when they said they had to go back to Vormir to get the stone, there's only one way to get the stone. Right. Right. So I knew what I, I knew what was going to happen. Um, I've said pretty much for years that um, Scarlett Johansson's got to go. I mean, you she's got to go. I, I never really thought about it. She's she's got to be the one to go. I feel so like I talked about that. I don't know necessarily with you, but I feel like around Civil War, I was like, if you're going to do a major character death in this movie, put it on Scarlet mm-hmm. or on uh, on uh, Scarlet Johansson's shoulders. You know, Scarlet Widow. Scarlet well, Widow. It's hard but, to do. Oh, Scarlet Joe. But well, well, go ahead. I know because when whenever they announced the movie, I'm like, oh, they're not going to get rid of her. She's got a movie coming up. Because I was still thinking movies are moving forward chronologically, right. not jumping backwards. Mm-hmm. But. Um, you know, Blaine and I kind of had a discussion about why it, it was ultimately Black Widow, and I made the point that it can't be Hawkeye, it can't be him, because he's lost everything that he loves, and Blaine brought up the point, well, the only thing that the two of them have left is each other. Right. Damn, so that's, true. that's why it made the most sense for those two to be there. I did have a bit of the moment ruined for me, just because I was thinking during that scene that, oh yeah. Aren't they doing a, a Hawkeye show on Disney Plus? Mm-hmm. Uh, they haven't like, uh, formally announced it, but I know it's supposed to focus on him training. I'm guessing his daughter mm-hmm. to be the next Hawkeye, the Kate Bishop version right. of Hawkeye. Mm-hmm. She did call, or he did call her Hawkeye in that hard he open. Because that seen, was a hard. That open. was a hard as open. As and I'm, yeah. and as soon as it shot of his family, could you? As soon as it opened, I was like, I look, I, I said him right now. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> like, they're uh-huh. they're really hitting us hard. Right that scene could have easily been a after credits for a different movie, but that would have been a horrible because it'd been, it'd been equivalent to the mm. Ant Man one. No, Absolutely, right. but so much that, that was tough. It was. <laughs> gut punch in itself. Yeah, that, yeah. that was a gut punch that was necessary Did, to set the tone. One that I found interesting. I don't know how they decided who was going where. It seemed like a it seemed to me like an odd choice of like that like like Nebula and. Yeah. Um, War Machine would War go Machine. to Morag. Yeah. You've got Nat and Barton going to Vormir. Then you have You've Ant-Man, got... Tony, and Cap, Cap going, going to 2012 New York. Right. Well, Does I think... Speak for people with... Because, ex- well, besides, I guess, the uh, Vormir, they're the ones they all kind of had some... They knew that area. Mm-hmm. That's what I was going to say. I mean, it makes the most sense for Tony and Cap to go back to Stark Tower... Avengers Tower, however you want they to label it. They know the layout. It. They know the layout. They know exactly where them their their past versions of themselves are at. Um, Nebula's been to Vormir, right. or not Vormir? She's uh, been to Vormir. Yep. Yeah. So, and there, it. There's some. Uh, and I guess some, if anyone else would have gone, sorry to jump in, but if anyone else right. would have gone there, I don't know what anyone else would have sacrificed. Like, if you sent like War Machine and Nebula to. Vormir, who yeah. they, what, they're not going to sacrifice right. each other because right. there's no care. Right. The, War would Machine be, would sacrifice his legs. Yeah, because it, it seems going to do chop his legs off and throw him down the thing. <laughs> well, throw his, like, just got his well, harness. Oh, off. that could be the one thing I found kind of interesting. Which it seemed like in Infinity War, you have to sacrifice what you love most. But I don't think we didn't. But it was just. But in Endgame, it was just a life for a life or a soul for a soul. Right. Mm-hmm. So he does say lose that with 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 you love. And Tyler brings up a good point. Nat has no one. You know, her relationship with Banner fractured. The only person she really cared about is Barton. That's why she seeks him yeah. out in Tokyo. That, although she would just left him to his own. Cause, Correct. Because what she on told the... him, like, just, do you even want to find him like, after what he's what, done? What is right. he going to be when you find him, you know? And then Barton, on the other hand, like Tyler said again, his whole family's gone. They, they were snapped out. So he is, if he goes, the only possibility for his family to return and be able to live is his death. They're both on the same trajectory. They have nothing left but each other. That is true. And but he has the most to gain by it. She right. had nothing to lose. <laughs> she didn't yeah. have a family mm-hmm. that got snapped out, and he did. So that's why she had she to did, go. She did do a good job leading the team at the beginning in the in the in between right five after, year period. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she mm-hmm. looked like frazzled as hell the entire right. time. And I did, I did really tired. like <laughs> the amount of foreshadowing <laughs> that they did with her character when Cap shows up with the whole peanut butter sandwich scene, which I really really dug. Um, you know, she talks about how. She's never had a family before, and once she got it, and now she doesn't want to lose it. So when she made the sacrifice, 
she was. It's not that she yeah. didn't have a family; she gained it, and she wants to. She wants that family Protected. back, right? Because yeah. right. yeah. yeah. she, so. she said it. She owes it to everyone who's not here to try. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we leave the scene with Hawkeye, and we jumped immediately into paper football on the Benatar. Silver, paper football. silver paper football on the Benatar. She was uh, so upset. But man, it, <laughs> those, so pleased. <laughs> those two working together in that short little scene, though, is really perfect. It was. They they obviously have some things in common. Tony built a suit of armor. She essentially is a suit of armor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, and they're adrift in space right. and trapped. I liked seeing them kind of working together to fix the ship using stuff that like you would know, like using the those uh, batteries that they got from Guardians Two. Amulary batteries. Yeah. Mm. Harmulary and, batteries. And the fact that Tony doesn't need any context of. Space technology is like, yeah, it's all the same. I got I, this. I would have kind of liked to see them actually combining their efforts and fixing it and getting home that way rather than just deus exing Captain Marvel. And mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, that that is true. Well, they had to get yeah. her back Also, somehow. one of the few scenes that Captain Marvel was a part of, bes- despite how much she was shown <clears throat> in the promotional materials. Well, I'm, that's one, that, I think that's the perfect segue because I don't know how you guys feel, but I'm extremely uh, joyed that she was barely in the film. Yeah. Not because I, I hate the character, same. but because narratively... <laughs> You just if bring you have her in a, to be overpowered. If you have a nuke, right. yeah. I mean, it's just nuclear deterrent. Like, look what I've got. They used, you know? very, they used her very well in the end mm-hmm. scene, too. Although, I will say... The pulling of the Power Stone, I think, was probably a good part. He's right. just like, she has this glove. He's like, no, nah, I'm just going to take this. And just, just. Yeah. I did think <laughs> the, the scene between her and Peter Parker was a little creepy. Not going to lie. What was... The, I, uh, I missed... I gotta, uh, when they're kind of like footballing the gauntlet all oh. the way across the battlefield, and you get... Uh, Peter gets the gauntlet. He's kind of laying, like cradling it, laying on the ground. He's obviously exhausted, and she just shows up. Good. He says, "Hi, I'm Peter Parker." She goes, "Hi, Peter Parker. What have you got for me?" <laughs> yeah, that was a little oh. weird. Uh, <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, that was a little. Well, she's also. I feel like I've seen this before. You kind of expect Peter. Going, <laughs> Hi, I'm. Uh. <laughs> I love speaking of Parker real quick. Uh, in in his return, activate instant kill mode. Call that back to yeah. to homecoming. There were so mm-hmm. many callbacks. We 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 this, could oh, totally God. get in that. Um, can can we? touch on one thing first about tony's personality right when he came back that mm. that how the, 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 the how everything that he basically had the well when he was mentally emotionally physically exhausted. exhausted and that the blood boiling from civil war with cap was still very much there yeah, that, and boiled over yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. when i think you have to you have to factor in too that Though Nebula wasn't, he was legitimately dying on the Benatar. Right. right. I mean, that's part of the reason why he looks so disheveled. He was he dying. Definitely, he definitely they showed him how thin and gaunt yeah. he looked. Mm-hmm. They actually had him on an IV while he was standing there talking. Mm-hmm. Right, and he mm-hmm. fell and collapsed, yeah. and they had to put him. I really hated that uh, he was yelling at Cap. Not, not not hate, like, I hate how they did it, but it, 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 it made me mad that he was... Yeah. But I understand why. But well, at the same it, time, he was like, you weren't there. But he... But Cap was there, they on a different planet, fighting the same fight. They had no context but, of each other. No, they did. Right. Right. Uh, yeah. But he was well, just like, "You weren't there." Isn't there, like, a, isn't there a moment in Infinity War where there's an option to call, like, uh, yeah. Iron going to call Cap, and then doesn't? Like, and Banner does. To. Yeah, this is the very yeah. beginning. Yeah, it broke up hard. <gasps> broke up, Tony. What, like the Beatles? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did like that uh, when they introduced his daughter. I thought they were going to go the uh, the route of. He doesn't want to go back in time because he doesn't want to sacrifice the daughter. But they actually, I thought they did the time travel, like, well, he was not giving up thing uh, fairly well yeah. by bringing everybody back to that point in time. He was very, it is smart. he was like, I, that's the only way I'm doing this because yeah. I am not going to lose what I gained. Right. Because he had a, a pretty happy life. Yeah. He had a nice oh, place. Post five years. Post content. five years. Yeah, he had his I mean, wife, everyone else might have been suffering, mm-hmm. but he didn't want to lose what he gained. Right, to absolutely. save everyone else, which I understand, he's that's his heart there. Well, it, it's not. I think you got to focus not just on his on Morgan, his daughter. You got to focus on Pepper too, right? Mm-hmm. right. Because every time, pretty much every time he's gone into space, he's had to tell Pepper goodbye, right? And now that he's back, he's not going again. He's, he's actually, not doing he's it again. Well, and she, time with her. and she mm-hmm. told him to go. Like he was like, I can she just actually, shelve this, put it in the closet. Yeah, and she's like, you're not gonna let. He's like, just basically told him, like, you're not gonna let this go. This is. I'm not gonna be able to rest. Right. Yeah. And then that calls back to the future, mm-hmm. which, no, we're not talking about that right now. Let's not. It's kind of the <laughs> Let's. that whole scene with him and Pepper and the daughter. The I don't think the funeral at the end would be nearly as impactful without that. Oh even yeah. With, even yeah, with I ten totally years agree. worth of build up, right. the funeral would not have been as impactful if they hadn't given the, that 
five minutes of being in the movie. In a their sp- little ranch. Right. Especially, I mean, I, I got to talk about it when Favreau is asking her, you know, when her and Favreau I, have I, that I, scene. Wait, break my heart, man. I, 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 for I, real. We all like I mean, right? two times oh. in that movie, I actually teared up. That was one. I legitimately Same. cried. The hamburger, the couple times. Lines. Yeah, when when the scene with Barton at the beginning of the film. Yep. Done. Oh, when he, The scene with the Paul dust. Rudd. Yep. The don't with, give me hope thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Yeah, that was. You know, I mean, just all of that. And then the I love you 3000 and, oh. and you know, <laughs> Favreau, d- Favreau doesn't get enough credit. You know, I'll get you all the cheeseburgers you want, kid. Like, God, it is, it, it, it just so hits simple, you. I, was, it hits you so hard. I really feels. thought we were getting narration at the end. I did not realize it was just they had he had a mm. pre-recorded message that basically before the time trial, like, if I don't make it out of this, I need this he for my He did family. the Benatar trick, but right before right. the time travel uh-huh. thing. And, uh... I want to know, we've kind of been talking about different moments in the movie, but I think it would be pertinent if we all quickly said, like, our absolute favorite. What moment made this movie for you? Um, I don't know who Comedic wants to... Comedic or s- emotional moment, or both, Across overall. Across the board, what was the sell that this movie was? Like, okay, because I feel like when we went into this movie, I don't know how your guys' experience was, at least for me, 10 years of build-up. I've seen all these movies multiple times. I know the storylines and everything, and I'm like, look... There's a possibility they let us down and screw this up hard. Mm-hmm. And by the end of the movie, you don't feel that. Right. And there are certain little moments. Okay, like Put example here. It's, it. it's even in the small things. You guys are talking about how Captain Marvel goes and saves Tony in Nebula. Mm-hmm. Why did she do that? Because first she went to Avengers that was facility. The the, Captain Marvel after credits scene. Exactly. And it, of course you don't see it. Disposition, you have to fill in the blanks. Rocket's probably talking about the Benatar has tracking on it. Tony has obviously got tracking in his suits, mm-hmm. and Captain Marvel's a badass, so they sent her off. And it's just in subtle little right. things like that. I was like, see, they thought about that. They put right. it out there, and they're like, callbacks to Age of Ultron, callbacks to Winter Soldier several times. I mean, right. all the little, they did so well with all the little things. Like, things you wouldn't think about, like, directly after Battle of New York, you have S.H.I.E.L.D., a.k.a. Hydra. Sean Pierce show up. Yeah, that was you, you see them show up, thing. and you're like, The Whoa. Sitwell, Agent Sitwell... Grillo, mm-hmm. he had the whole the elevator scene. The, I thought reverse. we were gonna get the same elevator scene again. Yeah, same. <laughs> I was like, is he gonna just really just throw down in this elevator? And it's like, oh no, Hail he's Hydra. gonna so smart. He was pulling so the, smart. Pulling the Hail Hydra bit is such a comic reference that it's from a from a that's relatively recent saying. run. Well, and one part of that that I really enjoyed was watching uh, past tense Cap kick the fuck out yeah. of. A future cap because oh. future cap is tired. He's broken. Oh, he's yeah. at the oh, yeah. end I of his rope. Like, yeah. The yeah, shield, I know. The I shields do it all day. bouncing off each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just so a pain. Pain. I, I was like, I like the. Uh, I can do this all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, I know. I know. He was just saying that. Yeah. <laughs> so that is funny. America's ass. <laughs> I was just saying that. Oh, damn it. That 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 was hysterical too. Uh, <laughs> uh, does that whole the whole New York bit was hilarious. Yeah. I, I mean the getting the context of like, oh, that's why. Loki has the thing over his mouth. I was like, it seemed a little Hannibal Lecter in, when you saw the original Avengers. Now it's like, oh, he just needed to, he just wanted to shut him up. Let's also uh, get by the fact that they got past the no resurrections this time. Right. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they're not bringing him back. They just had young Loki t- or younger Loki sna- snag the space stone and take off. Right. The weird okay, thing was, did uh, gets retconned almost immediately? Oh, yeah. Didn't the uh, didn't they have like the Tesseract in a like a weird thing yeah, in Avengers though? They, they didn't yeah. really. It was, it was in a suit case. No, it wasn't. It was in like a. It was in like a glass. Oh, at the end. Because like yeah. yeah. that's how they went. That's how they left yeah. in the end of Avengers. But that's they just right. had it in a suitcase in this one. Well, maybe well, I mean, the, they, were, they were in like the Central Park when they had it. In the that's case, true. So maybe it, it transitioned because yeah. maybe Thor said, "I'm taking this back to." Yeah. But I don't know. Quick question. Sure. Why didn't you like Lebowski Thor? Oh. Okay. Oh, this. Is so cool. you are the Come on. most powerful Asgardian. You are yeah. you are the living legacy of Odin, one of the most powerful beings in all of creation and all of time, and you have the two most powerful weapons ever in Stormbreaker and Mjolnir, and you're telling me that five years of just relaxing? I don't think it was relaxing. I think it was a shame spiral of depression and guilt of not well, having yeah. anything guilt. and so letting himself go. The depression and the guilt, that's the only things that changed. Nothing. Because you, you, Thor, consumed more booze and snacks than I that. Don't even, I feel like his metabolism wouldn't let him put on that kind of weight. No, especially... If he was staying active. No. You know what I'm saying? If you're just sitting around in New Asgard hiding out for five his, years and drinking... 
I mean, you that saw fancy fight. it was like it was uh, like. 40 kegs worth of alcohol that they were showing that he had consumed in one setting, and that's a maybe lot. Just, maybe not just him, though, because Korg also and me, true. too. Did, did we talk Which, about the fact that Korg is dressed like Taika Waititi in that yes. movie? Yes. I was that's just like, right. so yeah, <laughs> there's, there's, a couple diff- there's a couple different <laughs> tracks, <laughs> because you, master. You, have, you have Thor and Thanos being the stars of Infinity War. Mm-hmm. And you have all of the character build up. You have basically five movies worth of character development for Thor. And yep. then you just throw it all away. I don't. I I would argue that there's a moment at the very beginning of Endgame where they uh, reference Thor, and it rings really well with him. It's, uh, he thinks he failed, and this yeah, there's a lot of that going around. Well, he's the one that had the shot and missed. Okay, like every day. Does, and every scene you see him, but he does get his shot. So <laughs> it's, it's, shot, it's not as impactful. So he, other than Captain Marvel, is the only one that can truly challenge Gauntleted Thanos. Okay. With Stormbreaker, mm-hmm. fast forward to the final battle. You have non-gauntleted Thanos versus right. Stormbreaker and Mjolnir and Captain America and Iron Man, and I cannot let that go. That is true. They did without the depower him or uh, yeah. what did they nerf him? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nerf let me let me say something hard. about the the nerf. I'm glad you guys brought that up because there there's a thing that kind of undoes that. I want you to put yourself in a different headspace. The Thanos we're dealing with is from 2014. He is so fresh off of losing the Tesseract to the Avengers. It is eating and boiling at his blood. So he has a different mission, and now he knows for a fact, all i got to do is go to this facility and take what's mine. They did all the work for me. So he is on, uh, again, notice how he took out like uh, Hulk in the first movie, just with dirty boxing. He didn't have any stones. Yes, he did. He didn't use the power stone though. Still Watch, had it, still but had you, it you and I talked oh, about yeah, that. Oh yeah, that's right. It, it, it juiced it, him up. It he juiced was juiced. Him. He got juiced. That is. So he I feel juicing. like. Yeah, you feel like it should have been a no contest. With well, it should have at least been a challenge. Right. It was no contest. I mean, even, All four. Because even Cap could hold off Thanos with the gauntlet for like basically for full power yeah. gauntlet. Right. For a fraction of a second. But, for, but that's un- true. But I feel like Thor, even heavyweight Thor. Viking Thor with both weapons couldn't. He couldn't do anything. Thanos almost killed him. Yeah, that yeah. is that was. So like, if you had none so, of them, that's so valid. Thor electrified Thor, as I'm going to label him, took down one of the most powerful beings in the MCU with Hela. If Hela was in this universe still, Thanos would be a different. It would be a different animal. Totally, I agree. With I you mean, 100%. it'd be a totally different animal. But you took down top tier villain, mm-hmm. and now you can't do anything. Right against Spinny Sword, but again, it's I think we're going to we, we do need to call back to one thing: this this group of Avengers that's left now, they've spent five years with nothing, dealing with that, and they're beaten and broken. And they've also now done this time travel thing. You've had Thor get even a more emotionally broken right, with his seeing mother. Frigga alive, and 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 oh, and and maybe she still is now with well, this. Not just her too, no, she, Jane. She yeah, saw Jane, Jane. Yes, too. Also, which that was a cool. I kind of knew that was coming though because she showed up at the premiere. I was like, well, if Natalie Portman's at the premiere, she's got to be in the movie. Well, but then, uh, wasn't Paul Bettany at the premiere? Despite the fact that he wasn't in Endgame in the slightest. True. That's a question that I think we're going to get answered in Black Panther two or WandaVision. Well, depends on what comes first. Yeah, I, I agree with that, and I think that I think that we're going to get the doors blown open, like you said yesterday, when Far From Home drops. As soon as it's out, they're going to say, "Okay, here's the next two years, years of our well, or think, five when, years." When does D twenty three happen? Is it already happened? July? It's in July. That's July. probably going to be when they announce the next well, that's the same phase four time frame as Far From Home. Uh, yeah, Far from yeah. Home, Kevin so Kevin Feige a couple days July ago 2nd. said that he will not. The roadmap for Phase four will not come out until after Far From Home has okay. So hit I'm guessing the box whatever office. we get. Whatever they explain us in the context of the film and whatever the after credit scene will probably lay out Phase right. 4. Mm-hmm. So, there, as much negative as I have with Lebowski Thor, there are some positives. It did highlight Captain America's, you know, we got the final character development that we needed for, mm-hmm. you know, up until the MCU was created, one of the most bland characters right. in all of Marvel Comics. Let's mm-hmm. just Be real. agree. The- um Big Blue Boy Scout. Yeah, I mean, Big Blue Boy Scout. Thank you. Um, it highlighted Tony. Tony was fighting for it all. Mm-hmm. So when you had all three of them trying to take down Thanos, Thor was doing what he could, which in my opinion is a lot less than he should have been able to, but I'll let that go. Um, 
Cap was doing everything he could. And mm-hmm. then some. And then, and then some. some. And then Tony was just broken, but he would not stay down. Mm-hmm. So it set up the scene of um, Cap taking Mjolnir, and that that did it for that me. That may have been my favorite point in the movie. When I, I had to restrain myself from actually jumping dude, out of the seat. And there was a lot of us that did <laughs> yeah, in my people theater. People lost got, it in our theater. I got a lot of... This is going to go to a different movie, but I got a lot of reminiscence of the end of Force Awakens when Luke's lightsaber <laughs> swung past. Mm-hmm. I mean, if it went, if it went to Luke, it would have been a different story, but it did, it, I got that same kind of feeling. Yeah, It's a very similar feeling, yeah. Mm-hmm. I did love the Thor screaming, I knew it. It was just so perfect. <laughs> yeah. well, I, do you like the when they both had... Stormbreaker, Cap has Stormbreaker, he's like, and he's uh, like, no, trade no, no, me, no, no, get, no, no. give me that one. You get the little one. <laughs> you get the little one, yeah. Even though I feel like, I don't know, personal I, preference. Well, they set like, that scene up. You know, at the beginning of Age of Ultron. Yep. So the table I mean, scene. Yeah, I, I did that. like. Uh, I would have. There was another reference to Age of Ultron that was really fleeting, uh, in that scene where uh, Iron Man freaks out. Where yes. Freaks out means, I tried to put a suit of armor yes. around yeah. this world, and you guys said no, and it wasn't going to be possible. <laughs> I and I said, I kept. You said privacy. Go, it, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There. Um. <clears throat> I, re- I really wanted Cap when he had the shield broken half. I wanted him to try to stab with it. I just wanted to see one shot of that. Mm-hmm. But. I wish he had his, still had his uh, his gauntlets from Infinity War. Mm-hmm. The spiked gauntlets with the shield would have been yeah. a nice touch. Definitely. I don't know why he got rid of those. Well, he went I to mean, a different suit. Yeah, yeah. which I loved. Yes. I suit. love that we suit. saw Winter Soldier suit. That's probably my favorite, just because it's the all blue with the white. I'm a fan of that one. How did you guys feel about the Infinity Gauntlet? Okay. How did you guys feel about Stark making an Infinity Gauntlet and not a mystical being of creation that, that makes Infinity Gauntlet. I was okay with it. Nanotech. Yeah, I was okay. It, 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 I it was, was okay interesting with it. that it was also able to expand and adjust for the hand that was going to wear it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with it just because you're not at this point. You're not just talking Stark. You're talking Stark with Nebula, Banner. Yeah, with and Banner. Banner yeah, with yep. everybody mm-hmm. at this point. The combined Rockets brain there. power. Mm-hmm. Like there's there's a lot of minds going on. But I really really dug the Infinity Gauntlet football scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's yeah, one moment specifically in that scene that I, that like that, that it is my it did it for me moment. Mjolnir goes flying. I think Cap throws it. Uh, he says, "What do you say? Br- look alive, Brooklyn, or look ahead, Queens, or something like that." And he throws the mm-hmm. the Mjolnir, and Spidey whips yep. whips onto it and goes up. It was just mm-hmm. like that was really cool. Scene. And then who who cuts it down? Uh, so, someone blasts the the snaps the beam. That's I why think it, it may have been uh, may have been the spinny sword. Oh, it could have been yeah, either that or one sword. of the. Black Order, the, which uh, Corvus Glaive gets taken out brutally by, I think, yeah. Akoya, right? Mm-hmm. She yeah. stabs him through his fucking well, chest. Because they all came back because it was all 2014 versions of those people. I, yeah. I cannot, I'm blanking on the name of the uh, the big dude. Oh, uh, Call Obsidian. Yeah. Yes. Obsidian gets owned by did, a giant did, man. Just flat out stomped. Oh, stomped. Crunch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I oh, thought get to the van. I thought when Black Panther took it, he was going to put it on. Same. I was. I thought that yeah, there was. There was. I was surprised that some people did not. Or Captain Marvel. She when she had it. She did she try putting it no, on. She no, didn't, she didn't. And I'm surprised she, she didn't really attempt it. it. She did though, right? She got she it from. Did. She Parker. got it from Peter Parker, right? Because she was the one who had it. Because Thanos took it from her. Yeah. yeah when he, he when he, he took her out with the uh, Power Stone. Yeah. Did uh, that it. final battle? Did anybody else get some? Uh, Flash Gordon vibes from seeing Valky- Valkyrie on the uh, mm-hmm. Pegasus oh, in the so middle cool. of the giant. Did, side wasn't Peter on the back of the Pegasus at one yeah. point? Yeah, yeah. that was yeah. awesome. I, I really, I think, I think the the moment I think that was probably my favorite, which I think is probably the the pinnacle moment of that, is when uh, Tony takes all the stones out and has them form into the glove on his yeah. hand when he forms the the nanotech band, and then he goes when he does the snap, and it's like the, he's like. Nothing. I am Iron Perfect, Man and just done. Also, last you, words, his last words. Right. I, I am Iron did, did he, Man. Because he didn't say anything when he was on look. the ground, right? He was just no, all just it, nodding. He, fried. And he was not right. there. I mean, like, and that was hard too. Did, the you can rest now line. Uh, broke that, well, the fact me. that <laughs> ugh, that Peter was, was so there. Perfect. We yeah. did it, Mister Stark. Mm-hmm. We won. That was hard. I was talking to Tyler about putting the hand on him, and you get the you can fix it. Oh, you can fix it. You fix everything. Killer. Yeah, I, was I was surprised killer. that Rhodey was the first one, but I know it's his, it's his oldest friendship, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Man, there you know. No interesting Terrence to note, Starrett, though. Here, I was just thinking that. Here, <laughs> here, here's one thing that we didn't get in the movie that I'm shocked by: there was nothing at all with Scroll, which leads me to believe that is their game plan for Phase well, Four. Yeah. I think the same reason they didn't really touch on um, 
Oh, what was the other thing I was going to bring up? Uh, either way, go on. I do I, like the fact they they did a very good job of explaining why Captain Marvel wasn't there throughout the rest of the MCUs. Like, there's lots of other planets, and they don't have you. So, did you <laughs> touch on your uh, your left hand versus right hand gauntlet? Not yet. Did you uh, figure out? Any, did you flesh out there's, anymore? There's not really okay. The only thing I can surmise is that Thanos is left handed, like you said, because right. the gauntlet that Thanos has is left handed. But when Tony yeah. and uh, Hulk both use true. the gauntlet, it's a right handed gauntlet. What? The fake gauntlet in Thor, was it left-handed or right-handed, or do you remember? I think it's right-handed, actually. I I, you know what? Yesterday. It is. It goes this yeah. way, and the thumb is this way yesterday. when it's on uh, E-Tree's little station there. Mm. So it is, or maybe that was why he had to make a second one, because he had to make it left-handed instead. Possibly. Hey. Interesting. Yeah. That's that's, I, don't, I don't know if there's any... left-handed store. <laughs> Double hmm. gauntlets. Could you have two gauntlets with, like, a couple on each... <laughs> Like, I don't think so. This Maybe is this is power. This is space. Let's go. <laughs> Boxing like, glove style. Just what I would like to know is if they they still have a giant MacGuffin to go back and redo a lot of. Oh, we can bring that back. We can bring anybody back. Cause, but you know, I feel, we still have the time stone. In I feel like the soul stone though is a uh, because remember because uh, Hulk said he tried when he had the stone. That's true. And you can't. I feel like magic can't defeat magic, even yeah. though the fact that Thanos was able to. Break all the stones with all the stones, which seemed like something I feel like was impossible to do. They never really paid off the baby Gamora thing. No. Like the, oh, where is the little Gamora? Well, there was no, there really was never any internal soul stone they, stuff. Like they, you thought yeah, there was going to be. Really paid that off. Yeah, I thought there was going to be some soul stone stuff. Well, that and didn't, really they didn't bring back any of the. You thought there might bring back dead villains from the. Oh yeah, like, we, ne- we never saw. Um, I mean, the how? Guardians villain, uh, Ronan. They never brought back Ronan, Ultron. Uh, they brought back everybody who died in the snap specifically. Everything That's else true. Left. Well, I mean, never like he never summoned like using the reality stone. Right. But it would have been really cool if he would have had the ability to just like call back Ultron and send right. an Ara fleet of Ultrons at them in that right. moment. It would have been overwhelming, you know, along with the Chitari with, yeah. and everything else. Were the villains um, that were attacking them inside the Stark facility or the Avengers facility were those the same beasts from Infinity War? Mm-hmm. The, the Outriders. Outriders from, uh, okay, from I, w- War, yeah. I couldn't really tell because it was very. When they had the dark tunneling what system. What a great scene that was, too. That was crazy, because you're like, oh, we did it. Everything's the most, cool. The most oh, and I really thought Ant-Man I, was done. I was like, too. are they just going to kill off Ant-Man? I well, thought they, they killed the everybody. The most human person there, completely on his own, with the gauntlet, put him in the worst possible spot. They don't even know he's alive. Love. Right. He's well, just the fact running. I don't see Hulk's redemptive point was holding right. the keeping Rocket and mm-hmm. uh, 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 War Machine. Yeah. Just... You guys need to get out of here. And then that's when uh, the giant man just... Shows up. And Here's Hulk. <laughs> he just be, was giant man bigger than the other incarnation, too? Oh, he got like, big. He looked like he was a couple... Where's Lawrence Fishburne? He beefed up. How he was a big get? boy. He's big getting get? juicy. 20 feet. 25. 60. Yeah, it was like something like... It, that, it's a big it, it was. It was, a, yeah. it was definitely a dick measuring contest they were having in that movie. So, while we're talking about Banner in that instance, do you guys think Banner's going to heal from the snap? Yes, inevitably. They, they do you think he'd be, do, sling or whatever, do you think but, if he ever goes back to Banner, if Banner's arm will be just like worse messed up or better? That's, that's well, what they I'm getting Tony at. Tony spraying yeah. some shit all over him, you know, and he'll be fine. They do have a little bit of an out in saying that the, he says most of the radiation that comes off the stones, most of what's doing the damage is gamma, gamma. radiation. Yeah. Anyway. So there's no one more likely to heal from it. And he right. even I'm said sure it's, it's like he was made yeah. for that. Unless the stone's magic is permanent. That's, But still, True. they just showed us just a... It's almost like Thor, or uh, sorry, Hulk has just a sleeve tattoo now. It's just all yeah. it goes damage. all the way up onto his <laughs> like face. a lightning strike. We, yeah. should, we need tribal. to go back a little bit in this because you know one thing we didn't talk about that was a huge like what the f moment was the uh, the garden. The what? And yeah. The garden. The garden. Yeah. When we right the Avengers that. go to the garden to rectify the snap and to get oh, the yeah. stones, yeah, and he, Thor straight up murdering someone. He cut off his Whoa. hand, and then it was like no stones, and it's like. What'd you do? I went for the head. And then... <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, he, he, he got what... And it's funny because everybody was like, why didn't Thor just go for the head in the first movie? And it's like, you're in a moment of panic and fear. You're not thinking like you that. Want, you just want to do the too. most damage, and you think a chest shot with that... Well, it's a hell of a, hell of a shot to make, too. That's a lot of aim. Yeah. Yeah, Maybe that's why from, he like, said he went for the head, because he, he didn't just, last time. He threw yeah. it ahead of time. He just whipped it down. Yeah. yeah. It's not like he was going to strike him just between the eyes. It was just cool to see the payoff. Like Thor learned his lesson, but then it didn't really help. Right. I do like the uh, 
the meta of character building where they go back to uh, Dark World and he's after he talks to his mom calls the hammer back and he does so it just takes him a minute well no he goes I'm still worthy yeah, yeah. That's, that was the be- one of my favorite that was my I did thought. not think of that wow yeah. I was kind of thinking of he actually <sighs> said he was going to just all of a sudden get cut and like just lose all that weight and the- cause like remember in um at the end of Thor 1 when he finally gets the hammer back all like it's all mm-hmm. he gets the full suit up and that's everything. part of the so reason they I have the, they such have a big problem with Lebowski Thor it's the moment that hammer went even, into like, his hand when he had, he when he had the suit on he still had the up. gut he had the gut over with the big <laughs> suit with the discs all that ha- all that changed was his beard got braided and his, <laughs> did his hair get braided laugh. too no just yeah. his beard yeah. Yeah. His he had the long crisscross I did kind of laugh the fact that he looked like Volstagg he did kind of look like Volstagg didn't he nice callback yeah that's one thing I wanted to point out was how many just great minute callbacks were in there. Dude, Jarvis from uh, oh, yeah. Agent Carter was yeah. in it. Dude, I didn't recognize uh, Harley from Iron Man 3. In the, had, at I, the end scene, yeah. I yeah, I had to ask him. Like, yeah, I, said, was I was like, who is that? why is that kid there? And I like, and so one of my other friends pointed out to me, I was like, I think it's I looked up like what that kid was like now. I'm like, that was the kid. Yeah, that was still like, it was what, six years ago, seven years ago? Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's there. there's over, okay. there's 209 Easter egg or callbacks in Endgame. Uh, is there really? 209. Did you, uh, did you guys look at the uh, the screen time breakdown for all the characters? They, yes, I did. It was kind of surprising how, well, they had a, for a bunch they had a ton, but how little screen time certain characters had and how like much some other ones did. I feel did. like it balanced out a lot across both movies. Though. Right. I feel like Hawk, I got a lot more screen than he's had in previous. No, he wasn't He wasn't in Infinity War at all. It was in Infinity War, but like even like in Ultron and like the first Avengers, he had. I feel like he got a lot more in Ultron. Uh, yeah. He was well, he had, he, well, he had that he had that phone. big scene with uh, Scarlet Witch. He has the big scene with Scarlet Witch. He's got all the major scenes with Quicksilver. Oh, that's they true. go back to his house. Like that movie yeah. does a lot to build his character up to really help make this right. movie Which pay off. Because if we I, didn't go to the yeah. farm, mm-hmm. then it wouldn't have right. mattered. It does, yeah, it wouldn't. I love mean Scarlet anything. Witch's appearance when it, she's like, "I don't even know you." Oh, oh that was awesome, Thanos. You she's will. like, "You took everything from me. I don't even know you." Like what, <laughs> bitch? You gonna? <laughs> yeah. Gonna learn today. <laughs> I thought she was also another learn. person that maybe was gonna take the gauntlet. Well, because you said that you said that was gonna. But also with There's, Cap, there are stormtroopers here. Yeah, people have finally come in. This is cool. The start of the con. We're well. We still have an hour before the first podcast even starts, so we right. can keep this going a little bit longer right. for yeah, sure. I, if you guys have more I think things to so say. Many Things that we haven't touched on, but there's just so much you can you can spend five hours unpacking this three hour film. I I kind of wanted to go back to Barton as to what the motivation for Ronan was. Was he just killing out of anger? Well, I, I well, I think you saw why should these bad guys exist when my family who did nothing wrong is also gone. I think it was just, just I'm gonna anger. I'm gonna go and and um, set it right. You know. Well, anybody also notice the fact the uh, the Yakuza guy that he killed was the Silver Samurai in the second Wolverine flick? Mm-hmm. <gasps> what? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I yeah. did not yeah. notice oh, yeah. that. Was it? Oh. Was he? Was he not? He wasn't obviously not that guy, but he was just he, a. He was the one that ended up as the giant robot samurai. Did they have it, but he yeah. was even the character, the no, name. No, 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 just just no. the actor. No, same guy. Just okay. I like that. I like yeah. that. Yeah, and as much as you expected, there was no Fox related anything. Like I said, and I, yeah. I was and gonna, I knew they, they just, it was too set in stone. They were not. If they would have opened the door for any of that, I do like you said. Like maybe they'll do an after credits, but I think the after credits they used was what they had to do. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get these guys in on this real quick. What were your guys' favorite moments? I feel like you guys have been kind of just chilling on the couch. What were some of your favorite moments in the movie? I don't know. I have no idea. I have too much to. I'd have to see it again. I liked what? the movie. I thought it was a great movie. There was a lot of things I didn't like. A lot of things I did like, but. I, I liked that they put more. Uh, they they try to balance it more with some comedy, which I appreciated. Because cool. honestly, I feel like I'm dead inside when I see movies anymore. <laughs> and uh, it, this sister. one was Preach just gonna it. be like, this one was gonna. I was like emotionally prepared for when we went to see this, so I didn't feel like I was gonna choke up or anything. Right. And I didn't because I was. I knew what I was getting into. Except the one time where I felt like a little sting in my throat was when Paul Rudd saw his daughter again and oh, I was just yeah. like god damn it <laughs> Veronica do you want an A-Force movie yeah I I'd thought that was A-Force movie. They, 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 gave, they gave us that, that poster yeah. that scene was awesome just having them all coalesce together on the battlefield do you think we'll see field. more of uh, Rescue in no I know. Think rescue. I, I think do you think now. Gwyneth Paltrow is done now that Tony's done? Yeah. yeah. Well, she, like, we'll never see anything of that family. Contractually, she is done. Well, she yeah. said she, she will not she, sign another contract. Wasn't she done before, even before Endgame? Like, she just made a... 
I'm looking for a nice meaty roll in this. Yeah, mm-hmm. totally. The only the only change I would make to A Force is throw in some She Hulk, and I'm sold. Word. Totally, that's all you I need. That would be a good way. Like, Word. if you had Banner Hulk as he is now, plus She Hulk would be a nice movie. Mm-hmm. What about you, Dave? What was some of your favorite scenes? Um, well, I generally like the whole movie. As a whole. This. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I just love that life is a highway. Is <laughs> life is a highway. That's what I want to know. Um, I think it's the, it's the droid boot box It's the thing. droid speaker. Dang. I told you people were no coming. Respect. <laughs> um, no podcast I really, respect. The, the scene I kind of liked is like a smaller scene, but it was uh, sure. with uh, Tony and his dad. Yeah. Back Ooh, in the future, that, that was a really cool. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I as a like, son, what that was cool. What did name the kid? Oh, that it was, was like uh, I don't. It, it was thought, like Antonio you're, you're, or something. It was no, like, it, was, it wasn't. It, it was some to, weird name. Like, I don't. Yeah. I don't think you're on the right track. But like, it's, uh, you've still got time. <laughs> <laughs> you got time to work. I thought that was a really cool scene. I like that. <laughs> oh yeah, it, that, absolutely. That line, scene. no amount of money has ever bought a second of time. Yeah, that that that, 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 did that, it. that made that entire yep. scene for me. I was like, oh. Do you um? The one thing that surprised me though was that the test didn't melt through the briefcase. The regular briefcase. Yeah. Even though, like, because they they showed it like it uh, when it fell in, it's maybe because it wasn't technically activated. Because like in uh, in Captain America, oh, the it first falls one, the ship. it falls to the ship because it's hot and it melts through, and it feels like it would have. Because I know Tony picks up with the gauntlet originally, because yeah. the, the when he cut through, it, he grabbed it with that and then put it in the face and then took that off. Doesn't or, the Fury pick it up barehanded in the first Avengers? Uh, mm-hmm. that maybe that is true. I don't know. It's the it doesn't have a a strict. Rules I mean, of Evolve, existence. They also would have had it for fifty years at that point, so, or it was in the seventies, I think. So they had a little bit of time to, I don't know. Right, because he caught it in the end of, in like the late, early forties. Yeah, I. Uh, one thing I want to say John about Slattery. one thing I want to say about what Dave was saying with uh, that scene with Tony and his dad. That moment set up for certain Tony's decision at the end of the movie, because he says. This kid isn't even in the world yet. Like Howard says, my kid isn't even in the world yet, and I'm ready to do anything to protect it. And it's Tony going, oh, my kid is in the world, and I have to do anything to protect it. Right. Like, I, this is not a decision that I have to think about. It's done. Yeah, because do you remember, especially, do you remember in the scene when uh, when Cap asked Doctor Strange, is this uh, is this the situation? And he he does. I can't tell you. He but then he does the you. one, and I was like, oh. Across the battlefield, he's just like this, and I was like, <gasps> yeah, he that knows. was really cool. And then, real quick, let's also brief on the portals bringing everybody back mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. such yeah. all of the epic fashion. All the magic on your left, on your left, on your left, and you're just like, <gasps> well, Sam's I, back. Well, when I heard, it, I thought I was thinking of uh, you're thinking of talk about talk communicating from the soul. And I was like. Are they still in the... You know, he was just there in the... He was just there at the in New York. You know what never gets paid out? Never gets flushed out? Why you hear Captain Marvel say, I have telepathy yeah, before. You're, you're, I didn't it's hear there. it in the theaters, Oh, though. it's 100% there. I, I didn't hear it in the trailer. I listened I for it because I knew it was coming up. I heard up, it in the trailer. I, I did not hear it in the theaters. That, that was my thing. Definitely in the theaters. I, I heard it loud and clear. I was like, what? Like, how are they not I talking about it? I'm guessing Captain Marvel 2 will... Maybe, maybe touch on that? Or, or maybe, maybe they'll just, just never talk about it again. Do you think that Phase Four is going to be primarily focused <laughs> in the five-year gap? No, I think I think we're no, not going to see that. I think we're going to be moving. So not then gonna, the, the not MCU gonna... is just now in the 2024. Yeah, we're just there's been years missed. Yeah, because interesting. They, well, I mean, in that five-year gap, what are you going to talk about? There are certain characters that have been doing stuff. Like, what's Rhodey doing in Mexico? Obviously looking for Barton, but there's stuff you could cover with him right. that could I, be but interesting. But I feel like you're not going to bring... They're not going to get these characters That's back. It's like True. beating a dead horse. True. I, I think so you'll see more flashbacks. Okay. I think you'll see, like... You, uh, last time I was on JSC after... Uh, uh, Fun for Funs, yeah. We talked about X-Men. We talked about Fantastic Four. You could have the setup for those starting in that five-year period. That is true. And then you I could have established in the current continuity. You've also got... At this point, they've integrated alien technology for everything at this point. So now the cat's out of the bag on everything. True. It could be anything. Um, actually, we, since we talked about like the post credit scene, anybody else feel like uh, there was still a theater full of people left that didn't at get the an end credit scene? <laughs> yeah, but there was something in the end there credits the who sound, caught it. Yes. Yeah, this, yeah. yeah, just a beautiful like bow. Yeah, that's wrapped takes up. Takes you right back to Iron Man 1. And again, I think I said this yesterday, that you don't want to leave cliffhangers or give people it's anything right. else because you need to put it as an end. It was the end game. One well, question, did uh, the did the final snap, it didn't do anything to the 
devastation of the Avengers facility. That thing's still a no. a hole in the That's ground, right? With the crash, <laughs> yeah. With a uh, with Thanos' ship it's crashed done. into it. And that is a that is a crater I've, of bombardment that with a ship crashed into Captain it. Captain Marvel taking out that <laughs> ship though was pretty awesome. Yes. Just when she just pierced it like a bullet and it that's just her that's her number one superpower that's what blaine and i decided <laughs> yeah, yesterday weird. really she all the, she's good for is i really enjoyed holes in the ships. fact that she wasn't a major player in this right. movie she was just there when they needed her and really also her her main superpower is taking out giant ass ships when i think <laughs> especially too maybe sure. her involvement could have been some more if we hadn't just seen captain marvel true true that's like yeah, well, yeah. especially because the, the reason she wasn't in that movie more was because they were she was filming Captain Marvel during the bulk of that movie. Mm-hmm. Right. They brought her in for the because she hadn't filmed any. She of Captain filmed Marvel. her Endgame and Infinity War scenes before Captain mm-hmm. Marvel even started shooting. Yeah. Right? So she had no idea who the character. Well, even they wouldn't was. even tell her. I listened to one of her interviews. Like the the end cap for Captain Marvel, she filmed during Endgame, but was in a room with no other people. She had green screen and dots to look at people. She gotcha. did not know who was in that room because they wouldn't tell her. I do like yeah. the action. They did cut her hair. I thought that was kind of a nice Interesting, nice yeah. Gave her the mm-hmm. current... The, the modern look, yeah. Mm-hmm. With the sash, did ever, too. Did they ever have her in the helmet with the mohawk? Because I know they showed it in a trailer, but I don't think I actually ever saw it, it in the It never screen. sees the movie. Do you think there's deleted scenes from Endgame that fill any gaps? Or do you think... Or then they're just ancillary, extra... I think they shot him intentionally to throw us off. That's right. like the scene where they're all in the, the they did circle. Do th- and they did do that, though. They didn't put their fists yeah, in, did they? Yeah, yeah before they, before they uh, all the, left the at the time. same time. That's right. Yeah, that's before. right. The they, one thing I found interesting is though is that you could all enter the quantum at the same time and then go different places. You feel like you'd all be channeling the same path. I'm pretty sure I think Marvel once you start talking about trailer. time machines and time tunneling and everything, I'm just accepting whatever you're going to tell me. This yeah, that, yeah, right. Like, just sit back and enjoy uh, the movie. I love. I love when they were testing time travel. It's like, I don't know if that was old me or baby Someone me or me me. Someone beat my pants. Someone beat my pants. Uh, <laughs> um, actually, you want to talk about the time travel thing. The one thing we haven't brought up yet was the uh, the very end, the Captain America. Uh, oh. Old cap. That was a decision that I, I, I didn't say. Ex- I mean, I said you more said, you said that he, sacrifice would get, he would get left in the past was oh, more my thing. Well, when, they, it tends to like, when there's only one jump left, I thought that was going to be Cap. Was gonna make the get it and then see. And I thought when the guy showed up on the bench that it was Tony, and I was like, "Oh my God!" Cap took the stones back to the fight and did no. did it himself. And then you see the reveal, and I was like, "Oh, it's oh no, he did it!" Like so now we've got we also got old man Cap in this movie, which is another whole character, a hundred year old what I, what I director was Cap. About if, if yes, the idea is that he went back. And correct me if I'm wrong here. They went he went back to the forties and just lived his whole life. Uh huh. So. What happens to all the experiences of like New York? Well, do you did you? Uh, they explained it that what you do in the past doesn't affect your future; it just affects an alternate timeline. And That's you don't and you sure enter of, yeah. back into the main timeline when that timeline change. when you ends. left. It like you've just been a, a loop back in. I yeah. knew I knew the moment that he saw Peggy through the glass that he wasn't coming back. They, right. they called back the the Captain America First Avenger. By One the last way. dance the or music. Age of Ultron. Yeah. Well, and yeah. also also. Technically speaking, they called back Infinity War too because that's the same music that is playing when right. Tony is talking to Pepper. I was very surprised oh, in the Q it, ship. About that. What I kind of expected was not that he was going to be at the end. I thought I was going to expect the shield would have been left behind, and that Bucky. I thought I was expecting more of a battle for the cow type situation with who's going to pick, who's going to pick up the shield. I was that surprised was they chose to go straight to. That to, was uh, interesting. That they, I was kind of waiting to see with both of them being right there at the end to see who was going right. to get it. But, but you said you said it that uh, they probably that Bucky knew ahead of time. Like he told because he, he knew that he wasn't coming yeah. back. Yep. And that I want, I want Falcon. He didn't really seem surprised by it at all. No. no. And well, he I, even was like, it's "Also, yours, old take Captain it. America looks like Joe Biden." Yes. Yeah. Put it out there. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. A little bit. <laughs> He's like a Joe Biden Clint Eastwood mashup. Yeah. Yes. Um, but I think in in Blaine and I talked about it yesterday. I think as much as I would have rather seen Bucky with the shield, it makes it makes total sense because Sam can't do what Cap does. That Correct. is true. Right. Sam will never be able to do what Cap does. Right. Right. So Sam now needs Bucky to help him do what Cap did. And we are getting. And I, I was going to say they're doing a, a Falcon, Sam, win- a Falcon and Winter Soldier. Show and too. I think going forward with the Avengers, I think legitimately Sam's going to be the leader of your team. Not Thor and Captain Marvel. You, you said I, that I would like it to be Thor and Captain Marvel, well, but with the, with Asgardians as much with as much involvement as she has had now, 
I don't want it to be any more than that because it's unnecessary. She only needs to be there when necessary. Or and when to take out ships. That. She's big ass ships. And I think Thor is definitely, yeah. I feel like he's off, he's off on his own little personal... He, he is, he is now on a spiritual game. journey yeah. to find out who he is. But we can't. Well, we'll see a Valkyrie-led guard or Asgardian, which I'm a fan of. Can I just say that uh, the Asgardians of the Galaxy possibility, if they go that route for that movie, like With how James funny Scott. would it be if they have a Bowflex on the Benatar that both Thor and Quill use to get back in shape together, mm-hmm. like to push <laughs> each other? That's so funny. And then. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was talking to you about it yesterday. Like it, there was no. We finally get Guardians three, and it's a, we get the heart, the opening with the villain opening where you see a villain doing something, and that sets up the scene for the rest of the movie. Then it cuts to the Benatar, and there, there's fucking Thor just working out, you know, getting back into shape, and like or we see all the other Guardians, and then it goes to Thor, but either way. Why did I feel like that scene is with I Need a Hero music playing in the background? Yeah. Or Eyes of the Tiger. Well, I, done stuff better. Yeah. I think I told Dick, it's like, <laughs> I've actually never got a thing that's like, who's fat now? Because it's like the whole thing, it's like, yeah. you're you're a burger away from being fat. And he's like, I'm in better shape than you. Look at... I would, I'd kind of like to see them go to kind of the hero scene of them uh, cutting back to the Guardians. Thor's, you know, pumping on the Bowflex, and there's Quill asleep on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> I want a Thor, uh, Quill, Bowflex montage. Yeah, it'd be great. Yeah. It would be hilarious. Shirtless racquetball scene. Uh, Just, oh. <laughs> good. I do, uh, well, I do have like the idea that they have another little setup, a lead-in for Guardians 3 now, where they've already teased Adam Warlock, and yep. supposedly yes. I would assume that's where they're going. Right. But they've also got... 2014 well, no Gamora. Gamora anymore. There's still 20. They showed him still looking for her. Yeah, because she's like present. That. 2018 like Gamora is, doesn't yeah. exist. So now that's got a, they got a woo 2014 yeah. Gamora to the to Guardians. The team. There Plus, needs to be more instance of pelvic sorcery. Yeah, you can almost get a, a movie of 2014 Gamora and 2019 Nebula as like a, a sisters off a, on. like kind of like almost like a buddy travel comedy, but just the two of them. Right, I can see it. Sisterhood like of a, the like traveling a, uh, robotic arm. Almost like a. Uh, Romy and Michelle's. I, mm-hmm. I was a little, I was hoping. I wasn't sure if they did if they were going to until the very end. They gave Drax like one line. He yeah. did to attack Thanos, didn't he? Uh, no, he no he co obsidian's back and it's just like, oh stabbing yeah. Him. yeah. But no, he gets the line him. at the end. It's like you should fight to the death for. Oh, you fight to the death for. So, oh, <laughs> we know who's in charge. Yeah, <laughs> it's me. Okay. Why did you swipe the map? I swiped the map. Oh. Uh, let's real quick. This is the last thing I want to touch on. Were you guys happy or sad that there was no end credit? Ultimately, I need to know. I was happy. I, I was wanted it to be happy. the end. Okay. M- mixed. Mixed. Because I, I, w- I always want the end credit because that gives me something to like <gasps> hype for. But at the same time, I get it. Okay. I'm kind of the same. I w- way. Disappointing. Because I want to see a lead into. I want to know what's yeah. next. But, but I think I it, it does it. close yeah. this Infinity Saga as they've called right. it. Exactly. But That's I would have loved it to have like. With, when they when the Marvel Studios logo faded out to just be like you know that picture they took at the ten year that big cast photo yes just to do like a close up on like Stanley and then like a pan out to yeah. everyone else that made this what it was anybody else see a, seem a little odd with uh, Stan's cameo the guy who uh, had a soapbox in every or Stan's soapbox in every issue of the comics against drugs is the hippie the four twenty lord yeah yeah well the, I, I a little 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 problem that, with that, that is that, true but, but it also <laughs> looked so much like young Stan Lee. Like, I wanted him to look younger in Captain Marvel just because he looked like he does now and it was not like he does in Ball right. Rats. But I still think they did a good job with it. That may actually be my favorite of his cameos, the Ball Rats one, but oh, that was sure. my simply favorite. because I'm a huge Ball Rats fan. So. Me too. V, how did you feel about no end credit? I was fine with it. Yeah, you were mad that we sat through it. <laughs> yeah, because I had to pee really bad. You could have left. I think the end of a three-hour movie, the end credits. Well, I told little, you could leave. Additional. You messaged me like, "Is there an end credits?" I'm like, "It's well, I mean, there's is and there isn't. You can yeah, it is isn't isn't is ambiguous though. I didn't realize. Oh, so it was it's just your fault. I had to sit there for nothing. <laughs> well, I told him Gee, there's not a didn't fight tell you to the it's death a sound, with knives. But it's we, not a, we, wa- we we were talking about the end of the movie at the same time because we got out at the same time. We both went and saw it at six. Correct. So I think we were just talking about that there was no end credit. But there was the Iron Man sound. But anyways, um, we need to continue on this discussion we rate it? another time. Let's go ahead and, yeah, man, gangster. He's so gangster. That's pro. Buckles, out of five. Out of five? I, I had to, I'll be cheesy and say five because I had the same feeling after every Avengers movie that shouldn't have worked. There's no <laughs> way tying 20 years no, of movies, 10 years of movies, 22 movies together. This should be a mess. 
it's a massive success. Five out of five. Sure. V? I'm going to say 4.8 out of five. Dope. I love it. I'm going to say four out of five. Okay. Five out of five. Okay. Five out of seven. <laughs> Five out of seven. <laughs> a I perfect five out of seven? Perfect. perfect. Five Three out of seven. Three point nine out of five. Wow, just under four. And I'm I'm giving it the five easy. Yeah. I mean it it, it hit all the notes for me and mm-hmm. having just rewatched a lot of the MCU going into that was it was just perfect. It was everything I wanted that movie to also, be. Also I not to jump at the very end here, but I looked online today and it's global box office set to pass its budget of one point one billion dollars today. Yep. Let's real quick, before we get out of here, bring up the numbers because Actually, I, I, the numbers real, I got a question insane. real quick while you're looking that up. Sure. So I got into a conversation <laughs> with a buddy of mine. Um, what do you think still stands out of, of all the MCU movies that's come out so far now that we've got to an end point? Mm-hmm. Best, movie in the, best movie in the MCU so far? So oh. far? Yeah. I, I, I have, know if mine. If you, if you it's real easy. One. It's either Guardians of the Galaxy or um, Winter Soldier. Easy. It's one of those two. Damn, and they came out really close together. I also want to point out, this is, for all you people that gave it 5 out of 5, it is still ranked lower behind Black Panther on Rotten Tomatoes. That's fine. No, nope. it's not fine. That's not fine. <laughs> Let's talk about these in two. Th- I, I, I'm going to bring this in because I've got the numbers in. Sure. First of all, Endgame annihilates the worldwide box Let's office with $1.2 billion opening. It also brought in uh, domestically... Three hundred and fifty million dollars. It's open. It brought in sixty million preview <laughs> night. Yep. Where does it, it stand against Avatar? Is what I want to know. Oh well, Avatar only has like two point one billion total. So right. in it's, its opening it's weekend, it's halfway there. It's, it's cash positive as of now. So it means anything it makes on this is pure profit, which means Robert Downey Jr. is like three percent off the back end. Is just just stacking up. <laughs> <laughs> just Richest. He literally has become real life Tony Stark with how much money he has. He also lives in a freaking windmill. Really? <laughs> yeah, he did like he did like a he did like a crib type Robert thing, Downey and he Jr. lives in ever. a windmill that he his brother built. Hell yeah! Wow. I was like, all right, do you? So I think ultimately, like in the mid fours, is probably where yeah. this rates for this group as a whole. I yeah, I never so answered so. Alex's question about our favorite. Uh, oh I, yeah, keep it going. Sorry. I'd still I'd still say uh, Winter Soldier. It's okay. the best single movie. Okay, Dick. What about you? Favorite MCU? I don't want to be cliche and like this is what I do because I'm just still hyping off this movie but I want to say this movie but if I can't say this movie I want to say Guardians of the Galaxy still okay I guess this is your favorite I want to see best oh best oh best, best? <laughs> yes. our personal best or our favorite yeah, I would so it's best. not our, oh because my, my favorite is Captain America First Avenger my favorite but the best the first I, Avenger, so yeah. yeah that's my favorite personal favorite I will say best in game this in is the move. This fair. movie, I, felt, I I'd probably, well, I'm going to be I honest. I felt like I was in a comic book. The I whole think that Infinity War is the best. Yeah, I was, I was Infinity it, War. That was mine. It really made the stakes what this movie That's became. True. If without it, we would not be as hyped on it. But so we'll say double feature best yeah. MCU film. Yeah, I can't wait to watch those back to back at home and just like really get into it. Is best. I said Infinity War. You said. I was going to say best would probably be Infinity War, but it's not my favorite. I'm with you. I would say either Guardians 1 or uh, so, or, or uh, Winter Soldier, and I'd have to go Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier works because it's not really a superhero movie. It's so yeah. espionage, you know, it's just political just thriller. It's structured movie. That mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Before we get out of here, favorite cameo of Endgame? Oh, oh. that's hard. Uh, I'm going to go... Honestly, the one that like shocked me genuinely was Robert Redford. Yeah, I was not expecting to see him scenes. in this movie. He yeah. showed young Robert Redford in the f- in the seventies. Yep, as the senator. Yes, they did. Uh, mine was Frigg. Yeah, Frigg. Yeah. 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 Which one? That Frigg. was a powerful one. Thor's mom. I'm stuck between that and uh, I was just thinking of it. I want to say, I mean, as dumb. This is going to sound weird because it's a cameo, and he's not a cameo because he's in the movie too. Star Lord and the Morag <laughs> Yes, singing poorly to himself. He's in, oh, we <laughs> asked that question. If it's, do, we thought it, we both said it was probably a, they, he re-recorded that. I would I would have laughed so hard if that was just straight up behind the scenes footage yeah. and he was actually dancing around <laughs> singing on set. And it would make like, sense. We're gonna use this. <laughs> Man, uh, best cameo. I was, I was Frigga or Frida. What? Frigga. 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 But yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say Thor's ma. There's Mammy. There's Mammy. Mammy. Mm-hmm. I would have to say Natalie Pierce. Portman. No, it's Natalie. I did not. Pierce came out of left field. For me. I was not expecting. Okay, you know what though? Also, I, you could also say that about Ancient One. 
Yeah, that, my you know, brain that wasn't my going favorite. there. Was you know, at all. But. Well, the only, the only reason I would say not ancient one is because as soon as they have to go back and get it, that's the only person that could have had it. So it telegraphed true. a little bit to me. It could have been Wong. Wong was Pierce still around. Came out. No, that's true. And actually, the guy that initially had the sanctum that that ends up losing it to Caecilius, the guy that gets killed, the that's the protector of the sanctum in New York yeah. before Strange. True. Because really, ancient one protects all the sanctums. Right. She just happened to be in New York, so that that's interesting. But uh, man, I feel like seriously, we need to get you guys all together and do more of this end game talk. There's so many things we left off the table that we haven't even briefly touched on. I mean, there's like two hours worth of conversation. Yeah, I've, had. Still, I've still got anger left over from the Hellboy movie. So you didn't like that Hellboy movie? Did Hellboy have after credit scene? No, no. Well, no, yeah, actually, yes, it did. Yes, it did. Had a Lobster Johnson scene, which may have been better than the rest of the movie. <laughs> that was an amazing scene. It was. Because I love you, Lobster Johnson. <laughs> We've uh, David the claw. discussions on this. So. All right, folks. Well, this has been JIC 241. I got it right this time. The last half of this has been the end game spoiler. Thank you guys so much for checking out this episode. You can check out Journey into Comics at Journey into Comics Network at journeyintocomics.com on iTunes, Podbean, Stitcher Radio, Google Play Music, Spotify, Castbox, TuneIn, and many others. Just search Journey into Comics Network. Also, go to patreon.com backslash journey into comics to give us a dollar for early access and exclusive content. I want to thank all you guys so much for coming on. Tyler. Thank you. Dick. Thank AP. You. Dave, Veronica, mm-hmm. Buckles. Excelsior. Let's get, oh, I love it. Mm-hmm. Let's get out of here, folks. This has been Journey into Comics 241. I have been Nate. Avengers Assemble. Dick. Assemble. <laughs> Street Sharks. <laughs> Whatever. <Yeah>. Assemble. Assemble. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Shawarma? Language? <laughs> oh, yeah. Fill your brains. Shwarma? I forgot the end tag. Oh. We want to make sure we want to fill your brains ass. with shawarma. America's oh. Let's go get some cheeseburgers. Oh. You son of a bitch. What'd you say? <laughs> cheeseburgers. Some cheeseburgers. You buy all the cheeseburgers you want. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for checking this out. We'll see you guys later.